Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be building a beautiful, pastel, dreamy, cottagecore, beautiful build. It's going to be gorgeous. If you're on, oh my gosh, look at all these hearts as well. These, these hearts and these welcome messages are from Twitch to you guys on YouTube. If on YouTube you would like to send some love to Twitch, please go ahead and do it in the comments below right now. Um, this is the lot that I have picked. This was actually suggested by a peachy. So this is a peachy suggested lot. This is in Windenburg. Um, it's in like the top section of Windenburg. And we were just saying, this is a, this is a good house. This is a really good build. I know we like to laugh at EA and be like, lol, um, like that's what laughing is, lol. Um, <laughs> and laugh at them for their houses sometimes. I don't think we could ever do that for this house. This house is so similar to the houses near me. I'm really, really impressed by it. It's like Tudor vibes. It's got the overhang here, which is very common for Tudor builds. Um, and these like little sections here, also very common, the roofing. Honestly, they've fully nailed this house. This is a great house. Windenburg is from Get Together. Um, so because we like it so much, we're just going to bulldoze it. <laughs> we're going to bulldoze it because I'm going to use this lot for my, my little pastel cottage. We downloaded all of the CC in the last uh, video that I uploaded. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead. And um, I know it's not up yet if you're on Twitch. But it will be. Um, I've got it all uploaded. I just need to make a thumbnail for it and put all the links in the description. So we're going to be using the pastel CC that we downloaded in the last episode for this house. Posture check and a pastel pink light change. Oh my gosh, you guys are on it with the colors to match the vibes again. So we're going to go for some pastel pink light in behind. Here we go. Very pretty. Pastel pink, should we go like here? Very, very cute. Very, very cute. We like it so much that we bulldozed it. The ultimate act of love, Hannah. That's what that is. Jess and M, thank you so much for subscribing. You using your Amazon Prime. We welcome Jess to the peaches. And Peachy Bean, thank you so much for being here for seven months on Amazon Prime. What breed? I, I literally thought you said then, what brand is Evie? <laughs> what breed is Evie? You're thinking of getting a dog, but my mum doesn't like barky dogs. Yeah, Evie's very quiet most of the time. Unless she, it, she likes chasing things. Uh, she is a Cavalier King Charles. They're really quiet. If you don't like barky dogs, do not get a pom. Because poms are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly loud. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick nosy at some cottage inspiration. Um, whimsical cottage. Um, and I might try and pull up a picture that we can use as a bit of an inspiration on stream. What I don't want to do is do a cottage too similar to our Snow White one. Just because I feel like we've already done that, but something with like cute, adorable cottage vibes is kind of what we're going for. Um, so let me have a nosy, see if anything kind of matches the bill. I found a birdhouse that I like. Do you guys want to see the birdhouse? <laughs> okay, I know it's a birdhouse, but I think that's cute. Do you guys like this birdhouse? However, it's double story. I didn't actually envisage a double story cottage. So let me see what else I can see. Because I maybe shouldn't, shouldn't just try and build a dollhouse. This also is quite a big cottage, honestly. But this has the kind of vibes I was thinking too. Oh, you've not worked. What are you? Uh, let me rename you. Okay, there we go. This one too. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like... Okay, so this one was the first one we found. So this one is number one. Um, that one's number two. And then you guys can help me decide on the design. <gasps> and Ali, hello! Are we making some pancakes today? Yeah, we're gonna make some pancakes. For pancake day. Cool. I'm excited. Okay. I think last time we did it, it was a bit crazy. This is, um... Oh yeah, I've seen some of this stuff in the fridge. It looks sick. Yeah. Wait, what the heck's this? It's a Korean savory pancake mix. Oh, for like kimchi chon and that stuff. That awesome. Mm. But we, we'll make sweet ones. Though. Yeah, we'll make a mixture. Good. Love you Can guys. we make bacon and um, honey Ooh, pancakes? Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. Hey. <laughs> good. Thank you for saying hi to Ali in the chat. Okay, let me find a final design. Oh my gosh, my aunt used to live in a cottage just like this. I kind of wanted a single story cottage, honestly, but let me just show you guys this one. 
Um, one of my aunts lived in a cottage like identical to this, more or less. It was so similar in design. So that's another option. This one's quite big. Let me make this one a bit smaller. These two are quite similar. Two and three are quite similar. Um, and let me just find a single story cottage as well. Because that's kind of how I imagined it. Just because then it's a bit more cramped and cute inside. I feel if you get too big... Um, it gets like... It stops having the cute cottage feel. Oh, when I type single story, the, the design changes to like really modern cottages. English small cottage. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It is going to be pink. It's going to be um, pastel. Don't worry. It is going to be very pastel-y. Okay. Maybe we just go for these three and see what we get. I did want a single story one. But it's not really bringing me much. It ain't, it ain't really buying what I'm selling. There is this one actually. Oh, this could work. This could work as well. Cause it's got, I like that it's got, you see that like little circular doorway. Okay, I'm gonna do a poll. So the poll is gonna be in the order that they appear on the screen. So one, and then um, two, and then three, and then uh, four. So let me go ahead and poll you guys. Which design? Question mark. Lexi. Uh, one, two, three, or four. And we won't rip it completely, but we'll definitely take heavy inspiration. So, uh, Peachy Bean, thank you so much for being for seven months. Um, let me know what doggo debris you decide to get. Fairly Tara, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Fairly Tara to the Peaches, please? Subscribe to Amazon Prime. And Isabella Cash, welcome to the Peaches as well. Can we welcome them too? Madison Smith has just subscribed. He's in Amazon Prime as well. Welcome, Madison. And TJ Winter has also just subscribed. Bunch of you Peaches there. Make sure we feel make them feel very at home. And H2O Queen, thank you so much for being here for eight months in a row. Holy doodly, I can't believe it. It's eight months, Claire. Love you and your community to pieces. Looking forward to many resubscriptions to come. H2O Queen, thank you for always being so wonderful. And thank you for being here for eight months. And Sars, thank you so much for the win. 200 bits. Uh, the second one, you could do terrain manipulation. Ooh. Scary, but yes, we could give that a go. Destructo Bun, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Look how many streams. Oh, wait, what? See, 300 bits. Look how many streams I've caught uh, lately. Been watching you since Pokemon Go and love seeing you grow. Thank you so much for the long term support. Oh, and we, you have overwhelmingly picked Cottage number four. Okay, this one is probably going to be one of the more challenging ones to do, but that's what makes it fun. So we will keep this on screen. I'm going to just move her up there. Um, and we will be using her as inspiration. So let me keep that in the background so I can watch it too. Okay, so what's good as well is the entrance for the cottage is on the same side. It's like on this right side. Uh, you love the second cottage's door. Oh, what was the second cottage's door? I, I quite like the door on this one. But um, let me just see what was on that second cottage real quick. Oh, yeah, that did have a cute door. Okay. 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 How do we do this? How do we diddly do this? Should I just start throwing down some shapes like I'm on the dance floor, but it's actually on build mode? Um, because I can, I think there's like, I think the way this cottage is, is there's like the main part here. And that has a standard roof, like so. And uh, then it has two extra bits, which are gonna look like, they won't actually just be like singular rooms, but I'll just, let me just check how wide that is. Yeah, it looks like the chimney's there. So this bit comes out like so. And there's also a bit here. That bit goes all the way to the end. And then they have like a separate roof, which is like this. Uh, so that is how that goes. This one has another roof. 
This one has like two. So I think, I think this does that. And then it has like a little bit. That honestly, this is where you need half squares, which unfortunately we don't have in this game. But we can just do it like this instead. It's not the end of the world. Uh, and then that is where the door goes as well. And then this has a little roof on it too. So I can just copy that. But this roof goes to like here. Oh, here. And then there's also a roof here too. But they're kind of different heights. Yeah. So that seems to me like the basis of the build. One thing I'm noticing is that maybe this bit is a little bit smaller. I think maybe this is maybe one wider. Okay. And then that gives us enough room for the door, actually. Or we can move this over. But I think the door is going to feel a bit narrow for Sims there. So I actually think this, although it's a little bit different from the original design, makes a little bit more sense. So... The other thing I notice with this is what I can do is I can use like an archway here. I wish I could do an archway without an edge to it that just like cut into the stone because I think they look so pretty. I see them in like uh, pretty houses all the time. Uh, have I got like a really a bit different but that kind of could kind of work. Um, but uh, that's too big. Edge. Okay, it's probably gonna be like that one, but I honestly, I honestly think I might change the shape out a little bit and go for something like this instead, especially because we can do like a nice little pattern around the edge, which I think is very cute. And then that will go there. Wait. Move our checks, please go on. Yeah, that will go like here, and then the door is one inside to get into the house. So that's how that works. Yes, there's also a chimney. So the Chihimini is actually, it comes out further than either of those. Okay, arch. Uh, sorry, I'm like back and forth in a bunch. I also think this isn't one roof, this is two. This is two roofs. I think this roof stops. Okay, I'm gonna change the roof. What I'm gonna do Yeah, I'm gonna, let me just try something real quick. Let me just do a little trial. Cause I reckon there's two roofs here. I think this one finishes like here. And then this part of the building is actually set back a little bit further. And there's a separate roof at the end. So that must go to like there. Look, if I stretch this, you guys will be able to see. Chihimini. Yeah, look, you see how this roof lays a bit lower? It's separate. PCR, thank you so much for the bids! Devs, thank you so much for subscribing, using your Amazon Prime. Can we welcome devs to the peaches? And Lolo, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four, five hundred bids. A big, huge heart to you! And uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Ochao, thank you so much for the bids. I used to live in a tiny home uh, that looks like the birdhouse one. That's so cute! That's so cute! Yeah, I think it's a little bit longer. So I think maybe this finishes a bit sooner. And then this will push in. And then that means these two will have to come in a little bit as well. Just one square on each side. And that goes in. And that goes in. And then this is like... Another roof. And the Chihimini... <laughs> Stop saying that. The Chihimini is in the middle of these two. So it's like there. And then that's where the Chihimini is. The Chihimini Cricket! Again, this build would be way more accurate with um, half tiles, but we can't have them, guys. So there's no point moaning. I should just not moan about them anymore because it won't solve things. So yeah, something like that. Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. I'm really annoying. I do that all the time. I'll show you what I did. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Ah! Um, I've lost the souls. Um, that's gonna go over your guys' alerts, I've just realized. So let me put the alerts on top. Where are the alerts? Where are you gone? Alert box. Yeah, let's drag you to the top. Alerts. I've lost it. 
There it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reorganizing some of my stream elements, which is always such a pain to do. There we go. Okay, so now you guys will still be able to see your alerts. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I put the chimney here. And uh, that's the roof. This one I feel like is a, a little bit smaller, so I'll just put it down one. Um, and I don't know why that is a different color to everything else. I'm just gonna put on like a makeshift chimney for now. It's not even gonna be a makeshift, it's just gonna be a chimney. <laughs> but I'll probably change the design in the long run. Why did they make the chimneys not a whole square? I don't know. But... That's kind of looking similar, right? Yeah, I think that's looking similar. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it looks like this is a little bit bulgy, like like this, do you mean? It's got a bit of bulge to it, you know? It's probably a really old roof and it's just started to bow a little bit. Um, so yeah. Which lot is this? This is the cottage um C in I was gonna say Bridgerton what in win not in win win Windenburg there we go Windenburg um Sarah with the five gifted subs went two three four five a big huge heart to you thank you so much Sarah and a pet check I actually have bean come back so it will block out a little bit of build by mode why does Seb keep popping up out of nowhere uh, but would you guys like a bean cum? Can I interest you in a bean cum? She do be looking really cute. She's had her dindins now. The doggies eat quite early. I'm just gonna have some of my skin aid. Not sponsored, don't worry. She is so baby. I like to tell her really intensely though and it freaks her out. <laughs> hey, Zach, thank you so much for gifting a sub. And Tay Tay, thank you for gifting a sub. Can we say thank you to both of those in chat? Melissa Angel, thank you so much for the win. 200 bits. Your dad has been dispatched from hospital after getting surgery to remove a tumor on his throat. Can we get some love and hype in the chat for Melissa, please? Alyssa, Melissa, that's amazing news. I'm so happy for you and your family. Sarah, thank you for the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. A big heart for you as well. Please make sure I say thank you to Sarah if you were gifted. And Sas, thank you so much for the bids. Uh, make sure you either drag the roofs to the biggest one so there's no gaps. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've dragged it. Oh, you little smarty pants. Well done. Good show. I think I forget to do that quite a lot. There we go. Okay, I'm... I'm probably going to bulge these out to the same amount of bulginess. Uh, just because I don't like the way that looks. Otherwise, it looks a bit weird, right? So if I just give it a bit of bulge, it's a sh <laughs> Stop saying the word bulge. Um, it's a shame that they won't go to the exact same level. Because that would be very satisfying. It's going to do that. But there's not really a great deal I can do about it. I'm also going to drag this down one. Because a lot of these houses have quite low roofs. Yeah, you can see it, look. This roof's kind of come quite low. I could do it on these ones as well, but I don't know if that's to it. Nah, I don't think it needs it. Yeah, I think that's fine. These ones in the picture actually look really straight. So I'm gonna straighten it back out again. Lol. Um, press Alt. What do you mean? What to do to get it to the same level? Oh. That's probably as similar as I can get it and it's still gonna get the weird line. I mean, the original doesn't have bowing, but I kind of like the bowing. Oh my gosh, thank you for the alt tip. Wow. I'm still learning so much about this game. I don't mind because I don't ever pretend to be a pro at this game. I just kind of, I'm here for Bansa more than anything. So you guys is helping educate me on stuff is so useful to me and I really appreciate it. Okay. There's a bit of strangeness going on, but it is, oh my gosh, it is very similar to Snow White. Literally the one thing I said I was not going to do. Okay, right. The thing is from this point onwards is where we differ because from this point onwards, we are going to be getting our pastel on. So um, I think we should decide on a color for the house. Which pastel? Vibe for outside. I will try and include a lot, but pink, which will be the main one? Pink, purple, 
green, like mint green, um, blue or yellowy orange. Uh, I'm going to do it as a poll. So there we go. You guys can help me decide. And we we're on 186 sub train. That's so impressive. Guys, give yourself some, some clappage. Some clappage. I will be changing the roof color. I've got pastel roofs, but I'm just waiting to figure out what color we're going to go with. Oh, why'd you have to go so big if I make you bigger, Saj? You can press shift on a roof and drag one of the arrows up and down. It will only do one side. Oh, yeah, yeah, like this. I know this. I know this cheat. I, I used that in the um, Disney Princess build quite a lot. That was very helpful. Oh, you need to go lower as well, don't you? Uh, they're never going to meet because this one's meant to be lower. So I think I just have to accept that that's not going to be perfectly in line with each other and that's fine. I'm kind of wondering whether to have this go out one square at the back the same length as the one in front. This cottage has ended up a little bit bigger than I originally thought, but uh, just so that I can do that. Oh no, turns out I hate that and that was a bad idea and we'll never do it again. And what was the poll results? Um, I can't see what, oh, there they are. Yellowy orange. Okay, we want to make a peachy cottage. Peachy cottage, let's go with that. And then Angelically Evil. How did you escape from the naughty step? Angelically Evil, I'm sending you straight back to the naughty step right now, please. Clara sent Angelically Evil to the naughty step for being far too kind. We still love you though. Angelically Evil with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Can we get some love in the chat for Angelically Evil, please? 20 gifted subs! Let's get some hearts in the chat! Hearts in the chat for the gifted subs, please! 20! 20! Lots of love! And you've pushed us over 200! 200 new peaches and rejoin new peaches today! That's absolutely amazing! Have a bunch of love from myself and from the community. Angelically evil. You will be putting your butt right back on that naughty step though, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we are gonna be going for those new, new cute, oh my gosh. See, this is where I don't mind breaking away a little bit now from the original design because I want to incorporate some of this cuteness. Um, we just need to decide how we do it because I want to do all of them, but I feel like that might be a bit much. So we should probably try and find a happy medium that isn't all of them. But it's still quite a lot, you know? What about... Hmm. Something like that on top. But we want to go peach, which is like here. Oh, guys, it's going to look so cute. That is very yellowy. Whereas this is an in-between. So I feel like that could be a whole vibe. Um, and then underneath, we could go for this one. For like bottom floor energy. But it doesn't have to be the same everywhere. So like, because this is made of like quite a few separate buildings, I feel like we probably need to put a porch on the back because the back's looking very straight. Um, and then maybe we could do... Or we could go for paneling. We don't have to go for... Because I'm thinking that that is quite dark at the bottom. Does it take away from the cuteness a little bit? Where is not so berry? Oh, it should be out. <gasps> Did I not schedule it? Pro YouTuber, actual pro YouTuber, can't handle how professional I am. Wow, I'm so good at my job. Hey, I made a TikTok today, so you can use exclamation mark TikTok and get the plant talk that I made today. So, you know, I, I can only do so much. Um, something has to slip. I'm gonna go ahead and make that video. Let me just check. What's it. that noise? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's that noise? Um. Do, 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 do. Um. Yeah. Let me make that public now. So that is now on public. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. There was a hydrate, I think. Thank you, pro streamer, right? The TikTok command actually has a countdown. 
So you can only use it once every 300 seconds. Sorry. Okay, I think uh, what I will do, I'm just gonna grab that alert because I think I might move it over a little bit. Um, I think we should do different parts of it as different bricks. I think that could be like a good way to experience some different stuff. So like maybe some of the areas that are a little bit bigger, we should go more for like this. Oh, you've got a strange edge. Did you know you had a strange edge? Let me just... But I like how that leads up into there. But yeah, I think having a few different bits kind of works. What do you guys think? Bean does look so cute. She looks very vibey. Yeah, the TikTok command will be on cooldown now, gang along. Oh, that's a little bit softer. Can't really find a place for it though. Hmm, we've got a lot to choose from. Sell down, Claire, you've got time. You've got time, you've got space. And you've got all the colors of the rainbow, most importantly. No, I think I like the thing that goes to the bottom. Ooh, I should build some foundations. Um, just little ones. I don't... Uh, I actually don't think I'm going to put foundations in this house because I want to be able to walk straight into here. And I don't think there's any steps going up on the original. Let me just double check. No, there's definitely foundations on the original. So we will be including foundations in this. Do I have pastel foundations? No, I didn't think I did. That is actually a song that I'm singing. <laughs> Amy loves Callie. Hello, thank you so much for the bits. Hey, bestie, it's been a while. You haven't forgotten about me, have you? I can tell always it's you because of the bestie thing. And Feeling Peachy, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Can we um, say thank you to Feeling Peachy if we were just gifted? If you could play any song without getting copyrighted. I know. Um, I can't remember what that song I'm just singing is. I think that song might be called Any Song by Zico. How weird is that? Light change to pastel purple. Was there a light change mod? Could you add a half wall around the chimney? That's actually such a good vibe. Um, okay, I'm trying to find a good foundation, but I've not really found any I love yet. And I'm kind of veering back to the idea of having this as two separate things at the back. This, this roof probably needs to go a bit smaller because otherwise you're gonna get like a weird ugliness and I don't want that. The light change was uh, to brown or peach. Uh, I can't do brown, I don't think. Um, I will try and do like a peachy. A little bit more like over this way, maybe. Like orangey. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Beanie has left, but don't worry, she's still here. There she is. Um, there is a chimney at the back. Oh, well spotted. Okay, that's good. Because right, I think, I don't know if the house is a little bit deep now. Don't deep it. Um, I don't know whether to come in one at the back. And then... Oh, wait, this has plants. Oh, the site cannot be reached. Can I, like, see a cache for this house? Uh, this link? Because this house, that the plans for this house have actually been uploaded. Um, no. Boo. Oh, Saj, that would have been really helpful. But yeah, it looks like there is another chimney at the back of the house. So maybe this bit is deeper than that bit. That's what I'm thinking. We do. So like this bit does come out more. 
but not two more because I don't want it to be too big and I want space for a cute little garden at the back as well which I'm kind of running out of space for right now so ain't gonna be easy what are we thinking so far it's very peach it's quite big is it too big gang why is this only appear on one side and not on the other side? Can I like make it appear? I can't like twizzle it like a window. How do I do that? You have to fix the roof. Oh, does it need to? There we go. That's better. I think that's better. It's a bit of a strange shaped house, but it's cute. Make the color more yellow. Um, yeah, it's a little bit. The yellow was kind of loud though. I'm just gonna warn you guys. This is the yellow. Which do you guys prefer? That's the yellowy color. That's how it looks. This one's, I don't like this thing at the side here. That's really annoying me. I wish it didn't do that. We could go for like some big chunky bricks instead. Or maybe we just do that on this bit. I don't mind the bricks being different everywhere because that's so often how these houses are built because it's all extensions and stuff. It looks like sherbet ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna pull you guys for which version of peach you prefer. More pink. Oh, you guys prefer the more pink version. Okay. So that's like this. I think that is, it feels more pastel to me. So I, I actually kind of like that. No, we said we were going to do this bit, that color. And then I'm still trying to work out what to do in those other bits. So this bit's all like that. And then, should I do the same there? Or should I do like a different pattern? Because I could do this and then we could do... Where's the one that's the other way? This one? No. <laughs> Don't do that. That's completely wrong. Where's the opposite here? Does that just look weird? I had no stereo. Something like that maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Which do you guys prefer? The original has much less color than this. Um, That's my only thought. What about if we do... Like these vibes on like the longest bit. Because it has the most like Tudor energy. Um, and then for the bits that are a bit smaller, we can go for something a bit wilder. So this would actually be here and here. Because that's part of the bit behind. Although it does look a bit odd. No, I think I'll keep it like this. And then we can do this one a little bit different. So... Tide maxes again. The foundation near the door isn't correct. It's because I haven't actually. I think this foundation's too dark. I'm still picking a foundation. Feeling peachy. Thank you so much for gifting two subs. If you were gifted by Feeling Peachy, make sure you say thank you in the chat. And uh, Amy, I love how you thought Lewis Partridge was in One Direction. It's Lewis Tomlinson. Oh my gosh. The minute you've said that, it makes so much more sense. Like the minute you've said the name, I'm like, yes. Thank you, bestie. <laughs> and Peach Ranger, thank you so much for being here for six months in a row, seven months in total. I'm the one with the main spoon with a heart murmur. His name is Milo, he's my absolute world. Thank you for an amazing seven months. Love to you and the peaches. Yes, high five fellow uh, main. Oh gosh, sorry, my skirt flies up at the back. It's a bit annoying. I'm just closing that window because I'm a bit cold. Um, fellow main coon owner, they are amazing cats. Okay, let's... Sorry, I'm still still trying to figure out the outside of this house. I'm being really slow. So I apologize for that, but... I don't know. It's hard to get it right. 
Oh no, it was this bit I was gonna change. It was this bit. Once we've decided on this, we can just all move on with our lives, you know? <laughs> we can just move on. We never need to look at this ever again. Okay. Just because I want these two to be different, because if you look at the original, every part of it's different. So I just want to do like the same kind of energy. Stop saying energy. And like that one has like a little painted bit too at the top. So I kind of wanted to do like a little painted bit or like a little rustic boards bit. Am I going a bit mad now? Have I got a bit too much going on? Okay, just give me one last chance. What about that? Cause like, look, the original this bit's different. That's all I'm thinking. That's all I'm thinking. Fixter, thank you so much for the bits. I love the first cottage so much. I'm gonna attempt building it in my own game. Wish me luck. Oh, I hope it goes okay. Hope it goes okay. You think it's too much or you think it's cute? We'll probably put a window there. Gray bit bricks around the door. Like this? But it's meant to be like that chunky brick comes down around the door though. Make the boards a different color. We could go like gray on the boards. Cause that kind of works too. And then it matches the stones underneath. Oh my gosh, I haven't even looked at the roof colors yet. We need to do the roof. Oh, this is where I realized all the roofs were like not, the roofs hadn't downloaded, had they? Yeah, my roofs didn't work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want pale pink though. Why is it so bright? <gasps> oh, okay, that's actually a better way to view it. It looks a bit odd. I agree. I wonder if I could do stone instead. Just looking at all my options. <gasps> oh, I like that. Oh, that looks cute. That looks cute. That's cute. There's still one part of the wall arch that you've missed. Wall arch, wall arch, wall arch. Like wrong color. Donde? Oh! <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> that look, I think that looks cute. I think we should start putting windows in. You think a gray roof might be more um, low key. There's also this one. This is how it looks in the morning. We could go light gray like this. It's a little bit green though that, isn't it? Too green, it's kind of very cute though. It is cute. But is it a bit green? Why? If that was grey, it would be perfect. What else do we got? Oh, <gasps> Jesus, no. That looks too modern. That's more like Spanishy roof. Something about that roof makes me feel really uncomfortable. Like the roof is actually giant fingernails. Does anybody else feel that? Or am I really weird? <laughs> I don't like that roof. Oh my gosh, no. Giant fingernails everywhere. I'm kind of feeling that one. I don't know. Let's see what you guys are thinking, chat. Um, Soul, thank you for subscribing. We welcome Soul to the peaches, please. And tables are not real. Thank you so much for being here for eight months in a row. Welly Boot, thank you so much for subscribing. And welcome Welly Boot to the peaches. And Saz, the stone on the bottom pink is from Get Together. If you want to match the stone from the for the roof. Oh, this. 
For the for the roof? Can you do that? Um get together stone. Get together, get together stone. Get together. I can't see it, I can't see it. Thatching. Oh yeah, we could do thatching. Oh, it doesn't have white though. We've got Oh no, we do have white thatch. Yeah, this is the problem. Look at white thatch. Like, it's so bright. Even it looks like it's snow. It looks like snow. We could go for like pinky thatch if we want to go really pastel. Or we could go for like a darker thatch. <laughs> I mean, it's very intense. It's very intense. We could go for grey thatching. Could even go a bit darker, I think. That's kind of cute. Press get together on the sort thing. I don't know if it's gonna have anything, but let's have a look. No, there's no roofies from get together. Lexicon. It's the rare and elusive Lexicom. You look so cute, Baba. Good girl. Stay there. A Lexicom. Maybe, maybe a lilac thatch. Let's have a nose. They're very bright. I have to go very dark. I mean, it is meant to be a pastel house. I just don't know if my body is prepared for this level of thatching, you know? Uh, this level of, of pastel. Can you ever prepare for this though? That's more like tropical thatch. Oh man, we're just gonna spend 12 years on the roof. That's how this is gonna go, isn't it? Pastel blue. It's a bit much. It's too intense. Jeez, they're so colorful. <sighs> they are like, hello, we are very much the color. There's no getting around the fact that we are intensely colored. I feel like gray is gonna be our best show. What do you guys reckon? Maybe we should do a poll. I think grey is vibey. Roof. Uh, grey thatch. Coloured thatch. Grey tiles or coloured tiles. Let me know what you guys is thinking. And Saswin, um, thank you for the bits. I mean like where you have the grey stone. Sorry, oh my god. Oh my gosh, don't worry. Don't worry at all. Thank you for trying to help. And Stark Lord Jelly, thank you so much for the one 200 bits. I think they meant the get together wallpaper on the arch of the roof. I get you. I get you. I feel you. Okay, let's do get together. Hide. Okay, and it's. Ah, oh, that might be a bit more. Yeah, let's do that. That's cute. I like that. Agree. Posture check, Georgia, thank you. You guys are thinking overwhelmingly gray thatch. Okay, that's pretty perfect. That's what I got now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my roof edges. I guess if it's thatch, the problem is this feels, I don't know, it feels very, well, I'm not gonna get the right color. So <laughs> lol, take the idea, throw it out the window. Okay, that's one roof design. That's another. I kind of want to go kind of chunky. Not that chunky though. Yeah, let's go. I think this is similar to the original. Nice. Okay. And then windows. We'll, we'll deal with foundations in a second. For now, I think we need to get some windows in there. And let's definitely hide Maxis for this. So I can try out all my beautiful new windows, of which there are many, and I'm very excited to use them. Okay, um, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? 
And I guess we'll be going for, we've gone for a bit more of a pinky peach. So, well, that's very pink. Okay, there's these ones too. I think the ones with the little um, shutters are going to be our friend here. For sure, for sure. Although I do love these Peacemaker ones very much. Like, they're very pretty too. Bit, bit the wrong size, but very pretty. Very pretty. I like the white. What on the edges of the roofs? I'm just worried we're not going um, pastel-y enough. Yeah, that's my only worry. We can do white. I just like feel like we need to really commit to the challenge. Okay, that's white. And that's pink. No, I agree. It's white because then it, it matches up with these, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go white. Witchy cottage next. Pastel green windows. You want me to see if I can try and um, blend in another pastel? It's going to be tough, but I will, I'll give it a go. Oh, is it a bit of a clash? At the end, we should see how it looks with like all the different color variations. Okay, I wanna, I like those windows a lot, but I feel like I should go for square windows. Where's the, have I got any wide ones with shutters? Hmm, I kind of would want a double shutter there. But I don't have one. Saj. Might have to do this instead. I wish you could place like shutters on their own. I think that would be really useful. Hmm. This may be one of your best builds yet. Yeah, I, I feel like we're very much jumping the gun there. I kind of feel like this build could all come apart at the seams at any time. At any time. That's very much Casa steps. Maybe we go for something like that instead. Okay, at least we have a way to get in now. I think the white windows goes nicely. Yeah, it's just such because I downloaded like um, a bunch of these like amazing custom windows. And I'm worried that we might not even use them. But I shouldn't use them just for the sake oh, I should totally just use them for the sake of it. Who am I kidding? This color goes. This color goes really nicely. That is a very grand window for the front of a cottage. Maybe a bit too big. Yeah, it's too big. Cottages rarely have those kinds of windows. Oh wow, that is so cottage. I can't even handle how cottage that is. Where are the shutters at? Hmm. Oh, the Lexi Lou brush is gone. Who go would you guys rather see? Lexi's here. Oh, she looks so cute. There we go. You guys always see Bean, so we'll look at Lexi for a bit. You could use the bigger windows in the back. Yeah, I, I, I like them enough that I want to use them. I just think like, I feel like a really cottagey aesthetic is the fact that the windows aren't huge. So the cottage, like, because the walls are so thick in cottages. Like, I feel like that's just such an important part. That I feel like if you lose that, then you just lose some of the vibes. Can I put this the other way? They didn't do that. No, they didn't. Thank God. And is there a matching middle one? Because if not, I know this is blue, but honestly, I don't hate it. That looks really cute. That looks really cute. Your neighbor lives in an orange green cottage. The, co the colors are so intense. That does sound really intense. Pink light change. Also mini workout on a hydrate. Okay, I just did the hydrate. Next up we'll do the mini workout. So we did punches. Now we're gonna do razors. I don't have sweat punches, do I? Nope. Okay, get your weights or anything heavy. 
we're gonna be doing a uh, up to the sky workout. We're gonna do 20 as usual. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to breathe. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my gosh, you just said you're gonna do that with your cart. The, the weights with the cart, that's so funny. And um, let's get the light changed to pink. There we go. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Hi, gorgeous. Hey, baby. Oh, you winking at me. Oh, you little flirt. What are you doing? You're going back in your bedding turn. Okay, go on, go on. Go on. Go into your bed. Stop just staring at me. Yeah. Yeah. Lexi, come. Cute baby. Yeah. How's Lexi's reverse cough? Oh, thank you for the hydrate again. It's getting better. It is getting better. My weights weigh um, two kilograms each. Ow. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, her, her cough's getting better. It's getting there. I think it's going to be a bit slow going, but we're getting there. I feel like Sammy B would love this house. I know this color is kind of out there, but I am really liking the blue versus the peach. I think I'm going to stick to blue. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to keep it with a blue theme. I just think that it looks great. <laughs> That's kind of it, really. It just looks really good. I like these, but I don't know if they're a little bit... They're not the right vibe, and they're not the right blue. It's this blue, isn't it? Wait, no, it isn't. <gasps> Please don't tell me they've done this to me with a swatch. That's the only... That's the only window that's that color swatch, isn't it? Sims, you didn't do this to me. You didn't make me fall in love with a window only to yank it away from me. You're a different color blue. Guys, The Sims has betrayed us. The Sims has betrayed us so bad. It's They're all different color blues. Oh no. They're different too. Oh, why do they do this to us every time? Oh man. Okay. We might need to rethink this. I have been using CC, yeah. So if, if this goes on the gallery, it's probably not gonna work. Oh, I was thinking we should do a little balcony thing. Like a... Like a little balcony on here. Now the blue is too much for me anyway, so... Oh well. But yeah, I thought we should do a little balcony on this bit. God, I have to find the colour on here or else I can't do it. My eyes can't like match it. I just thought that would look kind of cute. And any other like cute things I can put on here that we downloaded yesterday? No, not really. <laughs> Is it CC or base game? There's a lot of CC in this. All these color changes are actually CC. So yeah, there is a bunch of CC. Whatever window goes here has to have these pretty flowers under it. They are the new rules. And I kind of, I should go pastel. So I feel like this is probably the closest. It's meant to be pastel blue. Pretty, right? You like us, yay. Lexi had enough, oh no. She, <coughs> she overheats quite easily. There she is. I wonder if I can get both of them in shot. There we go. Two doggos, one shot. Yeah, the CC I'm gonna link on the other one. Uh, the other video that I post. Can I get this in a pastel? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, this is really cool, because this is pastel. So we can kind of get a bit of this little number growing up as well. Um, I never know how to place this. 
Like, I never know if I'm doing it right. I guess that one's meant to be at the bottom, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Why are you now wilding? Get down. Like, it just looks like blobs. I don't know what's the best way to do it. Has anyone figured out the best way to do this yet? Because I just absolutely have not. It might look cute around a window, actually. I'm clearly at this point afraid of windows. Oh, I just wish that I had something that matched that. I think we're gonna have to give up on the blue dream because no other window in the whole of the game matches that specific blue swatch. I don't know why they decided to do that. It makes zero sense. It's looking pretty, right? And that's pastel, that's pastel pink. So it is in the rule book. Space Jam reference. I think that looks really pretty, like, around the thing. That looks cute. Um, I'll put some bushes around here so that doesn't look quite so, like, stark. I don't actually know why there's a balcony there. Because you can't get to it. So that should be a door. That should be, like, a French door. Otherwise, it, it makes no sense. There's just literally no point in there being a balcony, is there? I really want to go on the blue route. I do. <gasps> this is looking so pretty! I might, yeah, I might just use the same window, honestly. This is actually going to do this. We've not even inside yet. All we're doing is the outside of the house right now. Yeah, that will do that. Won't delete any roofs, will it? No. It's looking so cute and we need the most adorable front door we can possibly find. Like, is this got the little flowers on it? I have to do it from inside, which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, this one's got like the little flowers on it, so look. Cute, right? And then, can I change the color from here? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to like get some lights on that because uh, you can't see it clearly enough. Can I like... I have to put a light at either side of the front door, won't I? It's looking really cute. And again, that blue is a different color blue to all the other blues. So let me change it. Why don't we go for pink or orange or yellow? Is it a bit brave going for yellow? Maybe. Maybe we should stick with the colors we've got. And then let me just put a light there so we can just like get an idea of like how that color looks because I can't really tell right now. It's very dark in there. Very dark. And it's going to keep trying to stick it to this wall, which is why I have to go inside. Um... Oh, that looks so cute. What do you guys reckon? Should I should I quickly look at some other doors just before we completely put all of our eggs in one basket? Because I do like the door of your, which... It's very brown though, but it's very cute. That's really cute. Why can a door literally make tears go in my eyes? What's wrong with me? Weirdo. Oh, these are doors? Oh, we used one. There you go. Which door? The crochet flowers or the blue one? Let me just show you them the other way around so you guys can get an idea. And let me just change the time of day so we get a bit more lighting vibes. <gasps> okay. Paul. <laughs> um, what's the story on the doors? Blue or crochet pink? Uh, I just put croquette punk. I'm just going to put pink. Okay. Let me show you this one at night time as well. We're going to need to put quite a lot of lighting in this house. 
Oh, I hate that you have to do this. I have to go inside like that. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, that's that one. Which one do you guys prefer? <gasps> Sneakity snack time! What? Okay, you guys know the rules. Whilst we, um, the rules is, the rules is that we have to go get some snacks. You got 60 seconds. 60 seconds to get some snacks. I also need a Wii at the same time. So we're gonna be doing, um, <laughs> you were, <gasps> Hufflepuck, you were the one who redeemed it because you were hungry, cheeky. Um, what are you guys saying on the door? Oh my gosh, that's really close. That's really close. I'm gonna see, how, I'm gonna wait for this poll to finish because that's close, that's close. Oh, pink. Oh my gosh, it's 50-50. It's 50-50. No, why do you guys always do this to me? Why do you always give me a 50-50 every single time? Every single time. You're, oh yeah, that's a good point. I could do as a bit of an in-between a blue flower one and then you've got both. The problem is though that the blue is the wrong color. There is pastel purple as well. It looks a bit lost though. Oh gosh, I really don't know. If it was that blue on this, I'd probably just go for that. But it, you're right, it looks green. I'm gonna go dark blue. No, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. These lights are super yellow. That's the problem. I could change those lights out. However, snack time and wee wee. We'll decide when we go back. I'll think while I'm away. I'll think while I'm away, okay? Hello, hello, hello. I I am back. I am backeth. Okay, so pink one. I am gonna try one thing. Pink one by eight votes though, which honestly it's a 50-50 vote. I'm just gonna see how if I change these lights here. Well, where am I off? To something that looks a little bit less yellow. Oh guys, what did you get for snack time by the way? I got this again. Naughty. A granola bar. That's so much healthier than what I'm eating. So much healthier. Did Evie do big yawn? Uh, bagels and hot chocolate, what? Bagels and hot chocolate sounds so delicious. That sounds super yum. Oh look, I could put these little lights over the door instead. I think they go into the wall a little bit though. Yeah, they come out the wall. We could put them outside. Is it a bit much? I don't know. Or maybe like over one of these. Or maybe, oh. Yes. Yes. 
Um, strawberry yogurt. What a bit what? Okay, I'm just gonna have a bite of this while I try and find a light. Give me a sec. Um. Hmm. I think that on that looks better than the crochet one. Oh, the music stopped. Let me get you guys some musics. There we go. Yeah, I think that on that looks better. Um, but I still need to sort out the um, the lighting. Any lights that are more... All these lights are very yellow. I don't really know why that is. I don't know if it's something I can pick in this mode either, which is a bit worrying. I actually really like the lights that came with, um, what's it called? Uh, Park Everyone Hates, um, Star Wars, Re Journey to Batu. I like the lights that came with it. I think they've got like a cute energy to them. Like, I think that's kind of cute. I don't know if it's just me, but I quite like like a steampunk aesthetic. Who are you building this for? Honestly, I'm just kind of building it for myself. I could put a saucer above and we could do like drop lighting. That could be a vibe as well. And the sources are always white lights, aren't they? Okay. I did not mean to click that. <laughs> I did not mean to click that. Okay, by the way, this is where the lot is. This is where the lot is, right here. Okay, is that the same color as that? Wow. Sims lighting is wild. Right. What do you guys reckon? How can a door literally give me this much inner turmoil? Like, what is wrong with me that this is like, how much a door can upset me? I'm kind of debating just honestly, just going like brown with the door. Just to like move on in my, with my life. I feel like this door is holding back my personal development and growth at this point. This door is like making the decisions for me. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. What about a white door? Okay. Oh my gosh. This door, man. This damn door. That damn smile. Um, it's just kind of boring in comparison. I love Realm of Magic stuff. I really like the stuff from that park. That is your quintessential country door, isn't it? Okay, we might have a winner because it fits the windows. It's a bit sad that it doesn't have a border, but it fits the windows. So, I mean, that needs to go down a bunch, doesn't it? I'm gonna try and get inside here so then I can edit. You have to be like in it. A lot of people around me keep these wreaths on the doors and apparently you can put a wreath up for Easter as well. Okay, I like that. It matches the windows. Bish, bosh, we're done. We're moving on with our lives, guys. We're moving on with our lives and just as I say that, I might be about to... I kind of want to try blue up here now because then we're, we're combining two pastel colors into one and then we're going to finish and move into a different part of the house because I can't keep doing this just for my own sanity at this point um give 
me a sec. Hmm. Turns out I hate it. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it. Okay. Right. Um... I guess we've got the front bit done. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the rest of the room, so maybe we'll do the windows as we like get into the house a little bit more. But we need to kind of figure out a plan for the house. So there's a fireplace here. So I'm gonna put those fireplaces in just so we've got them bibbidi bobbidi boop. Um, so let's get some fireplaces in the house. There's also a fireplace at the back, which I've not placed yet. Posture check, thank you, Elu. Um, Saz, do M M Realm of Magic so you can use the matching stained glass for the windows. I love the um, Realm of Magic stained glass. That's the whole vibe. Mm -mm -mm. It is really similar to Snow White Cottage. I didn't mean to do that. I'm wondering if they used a similar... If there's like a certain specific style and we've all just used the same one. Now, the fireplace at the back... Kind of looks like it's maybe here somewhere. Like if you look at this picture, can you see that little sneaky fireplace at the back? Um, however, I feel like the fireplace is kind of in... It looks like it comes out from the roof. It's not like the one at the front, which is like separate. This one looks like it comes out from the roof. So that makes me feel like the fireplace could be um, within the middle of the house. It's kind of more like that. Oh wait, why are you going so high? Yeah, it kind of looks more like that. So, to me, what that kind of sounds like is this fireplace has to be directly below. So there's probably a wall there and the fireplace heats two rooms at once. So, yeah. Oops. So we should probably do like a split somewhere along here so we get a fireplace from each side. Which is probably going to be, just imagine that like that for now. So a different bit here and here. And let's just delete some of these bits where I was just using for builds. Okay, this is where things for me usually go... Oh, where did that, where did that wall just go? Rude. Um, this is where things usually go wrong. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed this about me. I have. Um, I don't make sensible shaped rooms. <laughs> it is just a thing that I do badly. My... Oh, oh no. I make just really badly shaped rooms. It's just a weird habit I've got myself into and my rooms always just look but ugly because of it. I build from the outside in and I just have badly shaped rooms. Isabel, thank you for the hydrate, my love. So yeah, I need to put a window there actually, don't I? So yeah, um, I might need some help making these rooms not be but ugly is what I'm saying to you guys. Because my, whenever I look back at my builds, I, I cringe at the shape of my, um, the shape of my rooms. I, it's just so obvious that I, I build for the outside and not for the inside. It's very, very obvious. There is a window there. I haven't decided what I'm going to put there though, because we'll leave it for now. Yeah, odd shaped rooms are fine, but not when they start to just look a bit foolish, which is what I think mine do. Right, let me just put my fireplaces in because that's what I was meant to do and then I got really distracted. I kind of like the idea of a little log burner. That could be kind of cozy. A log burner for like a bedroom at the back here. Bedroom vibes here, maybe. Put something support in the balcony. Okay, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. Mm. Log burners are really cute. And then... Fireplace here as well. Um, this one's going to be dual purpose fireplace. It's going to come through from both sides. So where actually is that chimney? Because I know this from doing our extension. You've got a plan for like a chimney to take up a block. So if we do it here, then you come into your hallway. And then maybe we do it like that. And then that's the chimney. This is another reason why my rooms are weird because I take realism way too seriously. 
So yeah, that's th that's the chimney. What are you eating? I'm eating my YouTube heart. I tweeted it. You can check it on my um, Twitter feed. Mm. Is it in the right place? Probably one along. Like so. Okay. Right, fireplace time, gang. Stop dilly-dallying, Claire. Stop being afraid. And are we gonna go... We're going for pastel inside, aren't we? Let me just put some lights, because we're going for pastel. So whatever I do... I'm just gonna put these little flying saucers for now, because um, they just have, like, a really... They're really bright, and they don't cast a colour. Um, we're gonna go for pastel vibes inside, so... Do you reckon this should be, like, the kitchen area? And then maybe this could be a little study with the light coming through. And then this could be like a little bedroom and we can put um. Oh, wait, but why would you have a fireplace in the bathroom? You wouldn't. There's going to be a fireplace either side here. I think this is like kitchen living. Um, bedroom will be here. And... Why would the... Why is the bathroom that... Why is the... um? Unless we do... Okay, hear me out. No, better before. Okay, bathroom, study, reading area. But bedroom with like a little reading nook in your bedroom around the fireplace. Kitchen, living. Doors to come out into the back. What do you guys reckon? Switch the office and the bathroom. What, to have this as the bathroom at the front of the house? Is that a bit weird? The dining is going to be in this. This is going to be, like, a bit of everything. And I will do, like, um, a half wall here. Um, as you come in, where, like, you can stack, like, your boots and stuff. No, hate that idea. Scratch that from your brain. You never heard it. And then this will be like a beautiful door going out along this kind of vibe, this peacemaker one, but I'll go for an even specialer one like this. And maybe you also get access to the back garden from the bedroom as well. What do you guys think? How do you get into the office here? Maybe, do I give the office one more square along here? Do you maybe get into the office here in the bed bathroom there? It's gonna be a squeezy though. Oh gosh, I don't know guys. No, redo it. <laughs> fireplace, fireplace. Oh gosh, I find Literally, this I find so difficult. Yeah, cottages are wild. Move the bathroom one back so you can get some study through the bedroom. That's a good idea. What about if I just kind of redraw? Because I don't want like a really narrow space here. Oh my gosh, it's just a nightmare. Maybe like that. I can get into the study then, to the bedroom. Try searching a house plan thingy. Cottages are wild though. Cottages have the weirdest house plans. They just don't really make a great deal of sense. These are all double stories. Yeah, these are all quite big. I made a little search from the 1600s. <laughs> it's just showing me like, um, like American style ones. Tudor cottage floor plan. 
You're thinking two bedrooms. Hmm. I don't know if we'll get that to fit though. Okay, this is what I mean about cottage plans. Look at this nonsense. Cottages just be wildin'. Cottages just be absolutely wildin'. There's just no sense to any of it. Do a loft bedroom. This one as well. Like... I'm guessing chambers are bedrooms. What is the... What is the room above the chamber on the right called? <laughs> what is that? The, there is a basement. I, I, basement is more just for like storing food though. <laughs> what did you see the name of that room? Ah, this is where I keep my... Oh, it was, was it closet? No way. <laughs> I thought I said something else. <laughs> um, I guess a, a cottage generally wouldn't have an open plan. I like open plan. So this is really hard for me. I just want to look across at all my pastely gloriness, you know? And I wanted to keep it to one floor. And oh my gosh, we've had a bunch of messages. You guys have kicked and triggered another hype train. What? Woo -woo. Sydney Sue Horace, thank you so much for being here for eight months. Sending you some big love. Sneaky squirrels with a one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. A big, big, huge heart to you. Um, I'm desperate to figure out where the vibey music in the background of your streams comes from. Let me grab you the link. Um, This is just like loads of... um like lo-fi that I found over a long period of time. Snack time, you've redeemed it, but I already got snack time. Go grab yourself some snacks though. Uh, so that's the link. And it's just it's just my lo-fi hip hop playlist. That's all it is. Um, also, Matthew James, thank you so much for being here for five months in a row. Vixter, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Woo -woo. I just reinstalled Reshade. Where can I find the one you use? Cause I love it. I use Bright, search for Bright, okay? And Rosie Posey with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a thousand bits. Woo -woo! We've completed the first level. Yay. Good job, guys. Okay, so I try I tried to see if a more cramped little area would make space, but I still want to put an archway there instead of a door. Just because I hate when things feel cramped, it stresses me out. I'm gonna just throw in a fireplace because I've been talking about it for so long that even I don't believe it's gonna happen anymore. So, there's that. Gosh, some of these are huge. I don't want a big fireplace. So many fireplaces. And we need to keep in mind that we're going for pastel. Pastels. So the fireplace ideally should also have like soft, soft energy. This has got pastel blue on it. We've gone for a lot of blue so far. Maybe I need to just not worry about this whole chimney taking away a space. Porsche check, thank you. Alyssa, thank you so much for feeling the hype train. Woo woo. Linikin, thank you so much for the bits as well. Woo woo. Any tips for learning a new language? I'm so stuck, it's ridiculous. Um, I would recommend using Memrise to enter vocab to help you learn uh, and getting some books using YouTube videos as well. I would say Duolingo, but I noticed some errors in the Korean Duolingo that um, makes me not want to recommend it anymore. So try putting the fireplace inside the square. What like... <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. I don't know whether to just have the fireplace here and just pretend that there's a chimney. I think that might just save me a lot of pain. But at least we've got it in like the same area, you know? 
Oh my gosh, this is a pastel fireplace. Pastel fireplace. I'm gonna keep that one in the bedroom for now. Right, let me just see where we go with this layout and all the long, live long day, you know? Let's just see what happens. So, the one thing I know already I'm gonna do, I know which chairs I'm gonna use because I showed you guys them yesterday and I really like them. So that is like super easy for me. I'm just trying to find a cute table to go with it. I don't want a really big table because we just don't have enough room. Um, I might even go circle. No. I'm like that meme, you know, where she's like, that's me. Um, Pastel fireplace is cute, right? Uh, Chewsy, thank you so much for doing for two months. Hope you've had a good two months. My dog is so cute, thank you. It's all on her. She grew that cr cuteness herself. Okay, these are, uh, let me just show you guys the chairs that I've been just so desperate to use. And actually in my mind, kind of low key is what triggered me wanting to do this house. Um, it is from... Do -do 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 -do. Paranormal. This chair right here has the cutest, where is it? The cutest pastel option I've ever seen. Like, did you guys know about this little secret, eh? Did you guys know about this little secret? That is a whole cute secret little pastel chair and I am there for it. I have this, which I can put like a little rugging on. Any cute pastel inspired ones? No, but we could go for grey, and I think pastel and greys go together really well. Although now you're a different colour to the chairs. I need this, but grey. No. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna work. Do the table long ways. Oh, that, that is a much better idea, yeah. I'm just trying to find the right table. But do it like this so it fits into that area. I think that's cute. I don't know if that rug is right though, because it's kind of a- it's like peachy pastel, I guess. I wanted grey, but I can't get the right colour table for grey. I don't know why. Just doesn't have it for this colour. That's probably going to be the closest. Uh, maybe a round table? We could- let, let's just pop it there for now, just for a hot minute. Thank you guys for the hype train. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We only got level one this time, but you guys have got have absolutely smashed the new peachy target today. So we still vibing. Don't you guys even worry. Um, we just have a nosy at some other tables. We could go circle. Again, I kind of like the Star Wars table. <laughs> I like that it glows. I like the stuff from that park. I wonder if this has a matching Quite small though, but it is only a cottage. Like, does it need a really big table? Probably not. Nifty Knitting's got loads of pastels as well. It does, it does, it does, it does. Okay, um, I'm just thinking though, we should probably get our kitchen. Where are we thinking for this kitchen? Because this bit, the chairs and stuff are gonna have to be here because the chairs are gonna be around the fireplace. So the kitchen, this might be better off by the door, so you can like look out while you're eating and the kitchen might be better off up here. Um, the kitchen's gonna be really cute, which I'm excited about, but I don't really know where to put the kitchen right now. So cute. <laughs> A pushing kitchen! Only one bedroom, so shouldn't be more than a couple of people at the table. That's a really good point. Mm -mm -mm. My only sunshine! Thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome my only sunshine to the peaches, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's too bright in here. There we go. Okay, and then, do you, what colored kitchen are we thinking? Do we want to stick with like the pinkies that we've been going for so far? Or th the problem with, I find with the blues is I find they're a bit too, Saturated? What do you guys think? I'm finding them a little bit too saturated. Ooh, debug for nifty knitting hanging plants. Yes, you absolute queen. Let me grab that. Um, debugs. 
and then Nifty Nitten. Um, yeah, because then we got all these. Oh, don't worry, we will we'll put so much of this cute stuff down. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And the rugs and stuff too are very pastel-y. Especially that one. Um, but yeah, I find these are a bit too much. I don't think this is the right color. I agree. I kind of feel like we're going to end up very pink. But I also kind of feel like the pink works the best. I don't know. Right. How should I do the kitchen? Because I usually do like... I'm thinking out here would be a really good place to put a herb garden if you if your kitchen's next to the window. Um, because then you could just reach over and like grab herbs whenever you need them. And it would be like right there. I hate that this happens. This drives me so mad. It makes me so mad. I don't understand why that's the thing. Like why is that a thing? You have to do this every time. Just to try and hide the fact that the counters don't match. It's just super annoying. Make it an alley kitchen and do a bar counter on the other side of the door. Where'd you, um, like here? You guys think yellow? That was quite a nice colour as well. But I don't know if it looks too much like wood. Like, we want to make sure that we're going... Like, maximum pastel, just so it looks pastel. Otherwise, it might just look like wood. And they're quite saturated. I was kind of hoping they'd be less saturated than this. What are you eating? I'm eating my cookie from YouTube that they sent for Valentine's Day. It's so naughty. I'm gonna get such a headache from this. I get really bad sugar headaches. Use the island cabinet and not the regular. Like that? But I still don't get the little standy up thing at the back. So I don't really know how to make it work. Look. It still doesn't look right. So I just end up always building a half wall. That's my only like way around it. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking I'll put a herb garden out there. And then... You can get your herbs and stuff. Oh no. What about, f oh, well Claire, you are dumb. Wait, outer counter. How does this work then? Oh, I've never done that before. I've never gone that way. Wow. That is way too much kitchen counters. Cheese the wheeze. No one needs that many. It looks cool, but there's just no point. No one, no one needs that much kitchen counters. If you have that many kitchen counters, you're just greedy. There we go. It's cute, right? Eh, never. I, I, yeah, in real life, the more counters, the better, because um, it's just easier for like life. But for a tiny cottage build, I think we need to keep things kind of small. And here we can have like, you know, like a clutter area where you like throw like your keys and whatever. Don't forget an oven. That is my favorite thing to do, to be fair. Oh. Yes. And I like that the oven looks out this way when we cook. Oh, it's a little bit of a different vibe. But that's the same. That That's the one that matches this. I wonder if we should go more pink. So that we match our things better. It's got little hearts on it. What do you guys reckon? And do it like that instead. I just feel like they match more. Like so. 
It's looking really cute. Wait, you're different. Hello. Yeah. The Pusheen fridge. Oh my gosh, if you like the Pusheen fridge, there's also a Pusheen microwave. Um, I'll put it here. Why don't these go all the way to the end? Like, why doesn't stuff fit? There's a little gap now between the wall, but it's the only way to make things look cozy and fee. Pink is cute. You guys want to try mint as well. Mint would be this. But the problem is the mint counters are very... Oh, mint looks cute too, though. Oh, guys, it's so hard. I don't know. Pin pink or mint? Should we do a poll? If there's any model of Rooney's around, can we do a little poll? For mint or pink? Because both of those look really cute. Oh. Oh, no. Script call failed. Guys, we can't do mint. I can't do a mint cooker. I'm sorry, I would have been very down for going mint. What about mint but pink accessories? Does that work? Could that be a nice in-between? It does look a bit weird, doesn't it? Or does it, does it look cute? Maybe it looks cute. Don't forget the sink. Sadly, I don't have any special colored sink. Um, but I can just put in a regular sink. Uh, have I got a Belfast? Not Belfast sink. What are those big, beautiful sinks called? This. Oh, that is such cottage vibes. Oh, oh my gosh, it's pink. Or I can have it mint. Sure, I think we should do this. Then we're at least using, yeah. We're mixing up the colors a little bit. I think that's cute. I love these sinks so much. I can fit a whole bean in this sink. You guys voted mint anyway, so we won. We're all good. Danielle, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Danielle to the peaches, please? And Ellie, Ellie Na, Ellie Naxo, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row. I know I've got a fist. I'm not gonna punch you, don't worry. Susie Kaputz, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you were gifted by Susie, please make sure you say thank you in the uh, chat, please. And also The Dying World, thank you so much for being here for four months. Um, do we have a light change? Uh, thank you for doing the poll mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, do I have a light change that you need me to do as well? Clay, your shaders are making the colors pop. Yeah, but look how dead they look without it, man. You need it! You need this! To mint! Oh my gosh, what? And the lights to mint as well? How are you guys this organized? I love this for you. There we go. Mint lighting as well. The fuck the- Oh, we got a mini workout too! Okay guys, get your workouts. Now we're gonna do the- um, The tries. It's time for triceps. My shaders are insane. I do like really colorful shaders. Okay, tries behind like this. These are horrible. Try and hold your lower ribs in as you do it. Because then you work that out too. Three, two, one. Count in Korean. Which one? There's two. Korean, Korean. There are two um, number systems in Korea. I'll try the easier one. Okay. Hopefully, oh, okay, I'm trying the easier one, but I sometimes like to switch between them both because I'm not very good. You want the Hannah dual set? That's the hard one. Okay. All right, ready, set, go. Hannah, dul, se, ne, tasot, yosot, ilgot. Wait, have I just switched? Dasot, yogot, dasot, yosot, ilgot. That's right, yeah. Ilgot, yodl, aho. Yol, yol han, yol stu du, yol se, yol ne, yol taso, yol yoso, yol ilgop, yol uh, yodel, yol ahop, somel. Or is it soren? So, somel. Somel is 20, right? Boom, there you go. 
Working two brains out at once. My arm brains. Apparently I have brains in my arms now. My arm brains and my head brains. Two for the price of one. Is that Was that right? If anyone can speak Korean, please tell me. Because I tend to get to six and then switch to from native to Sino. And vice versa. I don't know why. I just always do that. Parenthood cooker. Yeah, but look, I've got this cooker. It's got a machine on it and it's got hearts on it. We have to count like that in Taekwondo. Really? It's Taekwondo Korean. I did not know that. Oh, Starclaw Jelly, thank you for the one, two, three hundred bits. Some biddies for that just because it was cute. Thank you. That was right. Yes, we'll try the other one if we do another, okay? And the Dying World, thank you so much for being here for four months in a row. Hope you have a great day as well. Um, appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Whew, okay. Right, so what, what else do you put in a kitchen? Some fruities. Some little fruities, maybe. What about just a big old crystal? Oh, look, here is, <laughs> here is the crystal that's just taking over my entire house. Big sedge. Although I know I've done that. <laughs> Stop it, Claire. Um, a chicken. Here is my chickens. Um, I want some just like cute things. Oh my gosh, we could put all decorative eggs on a shelf. I know there's no reason to do this, but I, f I feel like we need to do this. When did you start learning Korean? I am the slowest learner in all, in all time. It's taken me 30 years to know that Jesus did not part the water. I thought it was him this whole time, so that was quite the shock. Um, I started learning Korean a year ago, but I've not been doing it properly. Like, until very recently. Because, um... <gasps> Choke, but a little place to hang the doggy leads. What are you from? You're, you must be from Cats and Dogs, obviously. Um, I love stuff like this. Yes, I think that should go in the hallway though. Oh, I haven't done my doors in there yet though. But yeah, a little place to hang the dog leads and get your like stuff is just so vibey. Love that. Um, so yeah, I honestly, Korean is one of those languages though that you can learn a lot of it and you still, it sounds stupid, but you still can't really speak it because um, a lot of things don't translate directly, which is makes it very hard. You can't just learn the words and then be like, you can't just directly translate the sentence because it, it doesn't work like that. Um, so these are cute. Why did y'all not tell me about these? Um, nifty knitting clutter. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, we need to finish decorating before we start cluttering. Guys, 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 guys. Also, why, why are we on concrete? We need some walls and we need some floors. Okay, so I downloaded some pastel walls. So you guys are gonna enjoy these. Um, that cookie is giving me the worst headache already. Um, okay. These are more outdoorsy vibes. These aren't though. So these are the noodles colors with the trim. So we could again go, mi oh my gosh, so far away. I don't know if mint is quite intense for a whole wall though. I think maybe some other color might be a little bit more gentle on the old eyeballs. Purple or pink? I'm kind of enjoying pink, but we'll do tile in the kitchen. You're learning Spanish. So far I can say hola and niña. Um, that's a lot. It's, languages are hard. Languages are really hard. You're learning sign language. Sign language is a language that I think should get taught in school and everyone should know sign language. I feel like it's like so useful and I don't understand why we didn't learn that in school instead of some of the languages that we learned. If everyone learned sign language, it would be so much more useful. I think that's nicer. <coughs> I published a clip of Claire cutting in Korean. Oh my gosh, don't. I did it so badly. Lost cringe for me. Okay, I said we were going full. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is meant to be a pastel house. We shouldn't be afraid of pastel. We should just embrace it. My brain, embrace the pastel. The pastel. <laughs> Creeping me right out. Okay, the pastel is scary and I'm afraid of it. 
I know I shouldn't be, but it's a lot, right? I don't know if it's too much, guys. I can throw a bunch of rugs down to try and like soften it a little bit. I think I need to go for the lighter version of this. It doesn't feel pastel -y, it just feels purple. Oh guys, it's really intense. Yeah, maybe we do pastel accessories. <laughs> I don't know, but then it looks kind of dead without it, right? It is a lot. It's a lot to try and wrap our little baby heads around. That's a lot softer. Okay, pastel is cute in the idea, but in execution, it's a lot. That is the thing that I've learned. That's the takeaway from all this. I need tiles in the bathroom, in the kitchen anyway. Because otherwise you're just going to invite yourself in for a whole world of pain. It's so bright. My eyes are just begging for- oh my gosh, it feels like someone's massaging my eyes when I do that. It literally feels like someone's massaging my eyeballs. I find pink is the least offensive. It just looks a bit dead out when I don't put any effort into putting pastels down though. That's my worry. Lava bubbles everywhere. Maybe an orangey floor. I think we just go soft like this. Little soft baby energies. Yeah, the pastels are kind of angry. I'm like, pastels, who hurt you? Why have you got to be so angry? I still don't think it's a good idea to put wallpaper in a kitchen. Just my two cents, because that's going to get splashed and it's just going to look a wreck really soon. So why don't we, but why don't we go for a softer pastel? Like that. That is very agreeable. It's not trying to start a fight with you. Yeah, I, I, I do want to like, the thing is though, we went into this being like, we're going to make a pastel house. So if I now don't make a pastel house, I don't know if it's a bit of a cop out, you know? I feel like we should at least try and keep things as pastel -y as possible. Um, I hate when you get joins like this. So I like to just put like something there just to try and make it less. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be a cottage. Oh, it looks weird. And then we'll put one here as well. Is it looking a bit better now? Is it getting there? Or even like this could work too. Oh, you know what? My eyes can take that. For some reason, crisscrosses just dials everything down a notch. That's way better. I can deal with some crisscrossing. I can eat, I can have crisscrossing for breakfast. That's fine. I did want to make the 
kitchen like a little bit different. Like, a little, ooh, that's different. But I don't know if I can find anything that looks cute enough. You think white flooring instead of... I don't mind the pink flooring though. I don't mind it. That's way calmer though. Yeah, crisscross hot buns. Exactly, exactly. I think that looks cute. Why Why do these always take me so long? It's because I, I literally like try everything on. This is why you never want to go shopping with me. Try everything on and then I never buy it. It's a bit too dark. I wish there was a filter for pastels. Sorry, I I'm gonna get something that I like in here and then I can move on, but I do want to make it this cute mint color. Oh, you know what? That's cute. I'm gonna put stuff on the walls so it won't be as intense as it looks now because there's gonna be like loads of stuff on the walls. So don't worry. It won't look as intense as it does now. Bean is gone. Oh, she's in a bed. Doing a little sleppy again. Maybe try the cat tiles. Um... <gasps> Babies. Oh, guys, what do you reckon? Okay, no cut tiles or cut tiles. That or that. That or that. I suppose that, I love the cuts, but that's more pastel, isn't it? No cut. Oh, I love the cut tiles, but they're not pastel. They're not pastel. If they were pastel, it would be so perfect, but they're not. And yeah, we need some um, cupboards, little cupboardies. Do I have pastel cupboards? I don't remember there being a cupboard option for this. We may have to go for white cupboards. Yeah, look, there's no pastel. Oh, no, there is! Ooh, do we go pink on top? No. Claire, just way too far. Literally, you're just gonna ruin it with that attitude. Um. Uh, I should put you on here for now. Does that need to go down a bit? Oh, but no, you won't be able to get the sink in. Is there, is there like a different option one? Does that look good? Like that? I have a hydrate! I'm gonna pull you guys on the tiles because you I can see you guys wondering in the chart. Uh pastel green or cat tiles. I'm putting cut ties. Oops. Star Claw Jenny, thank you so much for the win. 200 bits. I don't know if you know, but if you want the tile on one side of the wall only, you can do so by holding alt when placing the wallpaper. Just in case you didn't know. What, so like on this? Ah. Yeah, thank you. That's a, that's a good, wait, yeah, yeah. That's a good little, t wait. Yeah, that's a good tip. I think we should keep it pink on this side and pink on that side. And then it should still be, no. It's gone pink on both. No, it hasn't, it's green on that side still. Amazing. What I could do is actually put, the counter like this and then have it like so that the counters are like over this space too and then you have like a little window to peek out underneath I don't know I just kind of thought that might be cute oh they do be wilding though pastel green okay and then I can put like another one of these as like a support at the end and then like when you're cooking and stuff, you can be like, pass it over this. Like it's an old school like little window, but I don't know if it's like, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? 
No, too much, leave it open. Okay. I like this one. Can I put this one here? Yeah, I might put that one there. And then we'll put... But where can I put this? This is so cute. It needs to have a home. But it won't fit anywhere at the moment. Oh, mind you, it could go over here. Okay, it can go over there. This is the most intensely colored house I have ever done. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. You know what? You know what we need to do. We gotta do it to him. We gotta do it to him. We need some tight, uh, nifty knitting stuff everywhere. You guys liked it. Some of you guys liked it, but I do. Th mm. Okay, let me pull you guys again. Um, kitchen. I'm gonna describe it as open and closed with the cabinets. Open, no cabinets, or cabinets. Let me know what you guys think. Peachy Sasha, thank you so much for the bits. Hey, Clash, wanted to let you know that I love you so much. You mean the absolute world to me. You've been uh, with me through all these tough times. Never failed to bring a smile to my face. I love you endlessly. Peachy, thanks, Sasha. Thank you so much. I'm glad to put a smile on your face. And Dragon Tears Fall, thank you for the bits. You learned American Sign Language in school, but I don't remember most of it anymore. It's so handy, though, because, like, you can, um, you can have... People at opposite side of like a room with loads of people and you can still talk to each other. Like it's such a good one. Oh, apart from me when you're half blind, then it's not very useful. But you guys get what I mean. And Sarah, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row, five months in total with your Amazon Prime. I've been watching you since Dreamhouse. Love your content. You always cheer me up. I've been feeling really anxious lately so your streams are helping calm you. That's awesome. I love that. And also Gracie Love, thank you so much for being here for six months in a row. Gracie, Gracie V. White Walkers, thank you so much for subscribing. Come welcome White Walkers to the Peaches. Just Gem, thank you so much for the one, two gifted subs there. If you were gifted by Just Gem, please make sure you say thank you in the chat. And did I catch everyone? I think I got y'all. <gasps> the Resolver with the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs, a big, huge, wow, I spelled cabinets totally wrong. Um, a big, huge heart to you, Resolver. If you were gifted by um, the Resolver in the chart, please make sure you say a big, huge thank you. And oh my gosh, there is one vote. One vote, so it's what I decide, because I'm the, I'm the one vote. If you were just gifted by Resolver, please make sure to say thank you in the chat. Resolver, thank you so much for the five. Big heart for you. Okay, I'm gonna design the rest of the kitchen and then come back at the end and figure out whether I think it needs, um, it needs something, a little something, something. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, debug nifty knitting. Let's get some nifty knitting cuteness all up in the grill. Right. Because nifty knitting's got some really cute stuff and it's very pastel. Very pastel. Some of it, like, is kind of chunky, though. Like, I don't know where to fit some of this stuff. However, stuff like this should be a lot easier. Although I'm there, like, it should be so easy and I have no idea where to put any of it. Like, why did it not go up to the ceiling? Why is it hanging at such an awkward height? Is it because I've cheated it in? Is that going through the roof? How do I rotate objects fully like I just did? Oh, I just put, hold alt down. I hold alt down when I do it. Oh, can you see my little textured roof, by the way? Texture. It does look like a doll's house. I think doll's house is a really good way to describe it. Okay, I like this little tea area. And I'm gonna put some of these like cute things at either side as well. Um... There's these like pastel rugs, which I think's cute. And obviously, obviously we need the mailbox. Like, I like that one more. Not even a shadow of a doubt, we need the mailbox. What else does Nifty Knitting give us? Little poofs, a little box of yarn. I guess. I'm kind of feeling like that should just be a regular counter. Just so it goes all the way to the end, it's a bit more satisfying. Be no. Being is Saj, because she didn't get two walks today, she only got one. She's in Saj mode. 
Uh, Vree Celalane, thank you so much for being for two months in a row. We've had a good two months. And Devon Elvin, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Devon to the peaches, please? Don't forget the bin. I actually always forget the bin, so I'm glad you've said that. An empty dish of salad? Okay. Um... I mean, this bin is pastel. <laughs> um, it is pastel, so like, you know, I think that's okay. Sag vibes with bean. <laughs> I feel like what this place is missing is 12 million plants right now. Especially because these new plants with paranormal activity, not paranormal activity, totally different thing. Uh, the paranormal pack plants are really cute. Like, they got nice plants. Y'all got some nice plants. Oh wow, you are a long plant. Long boy. Where should I hang these? Has anybody got any good ideas for where to hang these? Because I, I could do like a little bit of a thing where they're all like different heights. Like, on here. So, like, we do some longer and some shorter. And that could be kind of a thing we do. They all need to be at the same angle. Oh, yeah. Are they just a massive fire hazard? <gasps> Taz is here! You hate the bin, lol. Taz, hi! Can we get some Taz-shaped love in the chat, please? Okay, let me change the bin then. That one's just so big. I, this bin is bigger than my future. I could put it like... It's just massive. Just so big. So big. Taz, how are you doing, my love? I'm gonna make that bin small. I think this bin should always have been this size. I think I've just fixed the bin. Save your game, that's a good point. Should we show Taz what we've got so far? We are building a pastel cottage. So here is what we're doing so far. We're getting there. We are getting there nice and slowly. This is what we got so far. Obviously the rooms are nonsense because I made the shapes of them. So the rooms are all just chaotic, but we're getting there. We're getting there. How was your stream, Taz? Oh, I'm glad you like the cozy vibes. What did you do on your stream today? I actually did not get a chance to check in on your stream today, which is rare for me because usually I poke my head in the door. Um, but today I've not seen it at all. Saj. So yeah, let me know what you got up to. Wow, this is just so intense. Where's the en exit? Oh, it's here, isn't it? There we go. Um, and I've been inside for a while now, so I'm gonna dip and go outside instead. Um, obviously, I just want to put magic everywhere. Do um, plants for outside go into decoration? The debug ones. Where where do the debug plants live? Don't be don't be sorry that you're late. It's fine, Darcy. I was renovating someone's build today. It was good fun. Was that the little Simsy one? I saw that you were doing little Simsy's build. It's so fairy tale. It's dreamy. Yay! Taz, whereabouts do debug plants live? Where's their home? Where they up? I kind of wanted to now put fairy lights everywhere. I just can't really be left alone with tools because I'll just do nonsense. I just want to put fairy lights on everything. I got that finished last week. She's going to renovate that on her stream today, which is mud. <gasps> Taz, that's huge. Congrats. That's amazing. Love that. That's really cute. Uh, you're a bit scared. Don't be scared. 
Don't be scared. Outside landscape. Outside landscape. On sculptures? Landscape. The debug- I don't think the debug ones do though. I think the debug ones- Part of the foundation isn't done. I honestly still haven't really decided on the foundations yet. Because I don't like- you see how they're doing this little bit on top? Like, why does it do that? I like these foundations, but I don't- I don't agree with how it displays itself on top. That looks better than the harsh, like, black of before, though. I think you have to go to debug menu for plants. Oh, they're all over the place. See, I've got it so that debug shows, but I was just wondering before I went on, like, the big view all if there was just, like, a little place they hung out. I thought it was on decorations, but never mind. It's snowing! I don't think it's snowing here, Saj. Hmm. I just want debugs. I just want debugs. If I go on hide Maxis, will it still show debug? When uh, Taz, is she doing it today? There's a mod for categorized debug. Oh, I thought I downloaded that, but I actually don't think I did. Okay, let's look for a grass. It, <clears throat> it's the pond I feel like we need. I feel like we need a good pond. A live space squid? What? Twisted makes you better build by mode. Yeah, I have that. I literally have that installed. So look, I can open debug. Better build by. Organize debug! No freaking way. I think we're about to do it. That would be really cool. Oh my gosh, I thought my game was froze. You'll need to start restart your game. Uh, Risa Lalane, thank you so much for being for two months. Devon, can we welcome Devon to the peaches, please? Devon Elevan. Jacob, thank you so much for the bits. Hey, Claire, I've seen people talking about OCD uh, being wanting things to be straight or the center, and I just wanted to say, isn't that? I've been really struggling with it lately. And you've helped me out so much. Jacob, sending you big, big hugs. I know full well that OCD also isn't just that. However, um, I find that if I get frustrated with people using the term incorrectly, I would just be frustrated all the time. So I would just let it glide off you like water off a duck's back. And, uh, well, it didn't really, it went really like, like water off a duck's back. Um, I would just let it like... That's weird. I think that's a custom foundation. Wow. Huh. Um, I just try, I know it's hard, but I would try and not let it like get under your skin. Because you, you can't like... You can't control other people's language. Getting angry about the way that people choose to speak is just like, honestly, a, quite like a fruitless thing to get angry at because you're never going to be able to change it. Um, so my advice would be to just, just ignore it. Just let it, let it not get to you kind of vibes. Um, how, it just told me how to do the debug thing and I totally forgotten what it said and now I don't know how to do it anymore. Um, and they're not appearing in here. So... <laughs> some of them are. Some of it's worked. Oh! Is this it? No, that's just normal stuff. Not debug stuff. Never mind. I'm just gonna use normal plants. Um, it's just easier with the debug one because there's some really big ones which makes it really helpful. But we still got a bunch of cute flowers, so it's fine. And we're not trying to save money, so it's fine. Yeah, I saw people on Twitter getting angry at the 
somebody who'd used the word thick for muscular rather than like, I guess like the more traditional word, uh, use the word thick. And I'm just like, you can't, if you're gonna let yourself get angry about that kind of stuff, you're just gonna be angry all the time. And that's just so exhausting. Like being angry is exhausting. You should be like looking for ways to try and make sure that you can like not let yourself get angry that easily. So I don't know. I just try and avoid anger. I would say that would be my advice. I know sometimes it's not easy and I know sometimes people are frustrating, but I think it's better to try and avoid anger. Does that look better blue? Yeah, I think it does. I know I need to restart my game, but I don't want to because I can't be bothered. So we're just going to use this instead. Although maybe it's not going to have everything that I need. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I saved. I did save. Don't worry. Use the BB show hidden objects command. Ooh, I actually don't think I did that. So that's a good show. Um, Taz, did you um, see my TikTok with plants today? Please write back. Thanks. I saved, I saved, I saved, don't worry. I did save. Um, special, special Ira. Ira, is that like, um, Avatar? Thank you so much for the bits. I'm new. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and checking in us today. And also, uh, Taz, you've been here for eight months, Taz, at Tia. <laughs> Drum roll. Tier three! Taz, I didn't know you were subscribed to tier three, you absolute pure baby. <gasps> Taz, you like the plants, I'm so glad. Uh, and Ollie, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Ollie AP to the peaches? Can we also welcome Ta Tarik Tarik Sick to the peaches as well? And can we also welcome Starry? Thank you so much for being here for four months. Hope you've had a good four months. Um, I upgraded it because I wanted the new emotes. What? Thank you so much, Taz. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, what should I be putting outside this house? I, I need to put whimsical items. Like, I feel like obviously we need like a well and like a water fountain and just like some cute... Should I put a little wall around the house? That one's got a wall. Like, what should I be doing going along? Where is the well? Should I get stuff from Romantic Garden stuff? Oh, that's like a full... Yeah, I think I like this well better. Rather than... Oh, that one's quite cute. Obviously, now I've got to look at every single one and scrutinise them to figure out which one I like the best. I can't see the... Oh, let's do... Maybe that one? Oh, that well's overgrown, though. You won't be able to use it. I want a functional well. Hello, well, uh, cute. And let's do a fountain. Taz has such cute emotes. They do. Taz has got adorable emotes. They're good. I have one of these that's really could work. Could definitely work. A tiny fountain. Uh, let's see what I can find. I think a fountain would be a good idea. I might, I might go to, um, where is romantic garden stuff? Oh, they're quite big though, the romantic garden stuff things. That fountain's kind of cute though, that could work. Maybe we put a little fountain on this side. Like it's all overgrown and adorable. Am I getting a bit, I'm getting a bit much now maybe. That's kind of cute. What are these kind of things called? Those little arches. Perennials for millennials, oh my God. Let's just see what arch we got. Are those plants in the Paco base game? I think these ones are island living. They're my favorite plants in like the whole... 
Wait, is that the only arch? That oh, it's because I've still got that. Um, they're my favorite plants in like the whole of Sims. I love these plants. I just think they're so pretty. It is looking cute, right? It's like not decorated inside at all, but. Boom. There are little pastels, cute pastels. And then is there any other cute archways? Hmm, I like that one. I think I like a flower arch. I think a flower arch, just a whole rainbow. I think a flower arch is a vibe. Let's do that. Let's pop some more planties. Cute. Look at these, how pretty are those? What about one of these in like at, at the side of each archway? Ah, oh, I want this house. Also, sunflowers. Nice, big, tall sunflowers like this. Oh, and this, this flower, no. This flower is my, oh, I love this flower. I feel like these would be quite hard to grow in real life. Um, but if they weren't, I would try and grow them because these flowers I just absolutely love. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to pick the ones that are pastel, like this one. Do this one a bit smaller. So pretty, right? People who live in cottages always have green thumbs, so. You just launched a pancake across the kitchen. Oh my gosh, be careful, what? I missed a posture check, thank you. Oh, bird bath, oh my gosh, yes. Bird bath. Adorable. There's also a birdhouse. This birdhouse too. Is that? Is there? Is there a nifty knitting birdhouse, or am I just hallucinating that? Oh, a pink one. Oh, guys, where are we gonna put the pink piano? Oh, there's this bird feeder. So cute. I'm now just getting into that stage where like, I should definitely be going back inside, but I adore plants so much that I'm gonna be out here for ages if I'm not careful. So I may have to drag myself away. A light change was redeemed. No, I've not done the inside. I got distracted by beautiful outdoors. I will go back inside in a second, don't worry. It's just so hard when it's a pretty out here. Where are those big mushrooms? Because I love those things. Light check. There's also a pastel light change. Okay, thank you. Wait, pastel yellow, was that? Uh, yellow, yes, okay. Let it connect for one hot sec. The music is vibey. I like this music a lot. I need to add for a few more to this, there we go. Thank you. I need to add a few more songs to this track list because, um, yeah, it's very vibey. Okay, um, I want this flower again, my favorite one. Yeah. Oh, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Any more pastel -y flowers? That one's cute. Have you got you in a different color? Maybe we should do the purple one small and this one big. Oh my gosh. Whoever has this house definitely has a very green thumb. We'll build some more up. Okay, let's head back inside. <gasps> the mushrooms. We'll head back inside. I like these mushrooms, so <laughs> I'm gonna include those. Plus it looks extra whimsical then. It's vibey, it's pretty, right? So this is the interior, um, Taz, this is why. This is why pastel is honestly very hard um, because too much of it and it can start to induce headaches, which is, I'm not gonna lie, kind of what's happening to me right now, but it also could be the fact that I'm eating that YouTube cookie that I shouldn't be eating. The mailbox is blocked. <laughs> the mailbox is blocked. No, no, it's not, it's fine. Look. I can move it over a bit just to make sure it's visible. I need some welly bobs to stack up here. That would be really cute. 
You're doing stretchy feet. Jessie, you should play the game. And then she does it to you, and then you meet in the middle. <laughs> Baby stretchy feet. You got the cutest stretchy feet I've ever seen, Evie. They're beautiful. Look at them. You good girl. You good girl, aren't you? You are. Your bed's falling out a little bit. Let me put it back in. Right, so the plan was to finish this in one stream. <laughs> um, that might have been a bit bold. I missed a hydrate. I'm actually gonna have to cancel the hydrates because I finished everything. So that is the final hydrate. Right, give me a sec because I need to- I wanted to do like a little sitting area here. Um, and we actually downloaded a new sofa specifically for this. Oh, hello phone. Don't know why you're being so loud. Um, this is that weird song that's like, No lies. No lies. No lies. It is that, and it just. <laughs> Sorry, Evie, was that noise? I went wrong and weird. Um, it just cracks me up. There we go. Oh, Bean is gone, I'm afraid. She's doing a little stretchy butt over there. Ali's rolly thing that he uses after yoga is here as well. After uh, working out, sorry. Yeah, look, I downloaded this specifically. So. We gotta have it. You put your little feeties up on here. Hmm, they don't really have like light pastel green though. Oh no, they do. Okay. And then, is there a little chair? Oh, that's kind of cute as well though. I told you it does that weird noise. You see, it does it now. Oh guys, I think that's the end of Bean Cam for today. I think she's um she's headed out, so I will switch off that so you guys can see a little bit more of the stream. Um ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. There we go. There we go. Guard dog no more. I know, right? I'm just totally exposed now. Pet predators could come and eat me. I actually think I like this one more. It's the same creator, don't worry. It's um Peacemaker, who you should check out because this is nice too. Um, their CC is god tier. It, it is guaranteed god tier CC. A million percent. You fit beautifully, don't you, friend? I also am not a morning person, so. And let's go for this living room. I use this thing everywhere now because, like, I mean, look at it. Why would you not? Um. And we can bring in a bit more of a greeny colour. So I'm trying to work out the right combination. I'm going to change that coffee table. I always want this to be um, oval. And I always get really wound up that it's not. Claire, can I use Ash as a face claim for my story? What does that mean? I don't know what a face claim is. Please enlighten me. The footrest thing looks too modern. Oh, do we want to go for a little bit more rustic? Rustic energies. This is cute, but it's so big. Like, it's just too big. I kind of like this little poof. I don't know what I'd use it for, but it's cute. Aunt, I actually saw a really cute table that- oh, an ironing board. <gasps> well, ain't you just the cutest thing I ever saw? Yes, let's have a little ironing board in the corner. So you can whip that out whenever you need it. Um, and yeah, I saw a really cute little table today that I was like, I will be using you. There we go. How cute is that? I can put a little lump on it. Can Ash have a teen pregnancy? I don't know if I want to take that route. Um... 
don't fancy being cancelled, so... <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know what kind of table to go for here. Oh, there's so much cute furniture that I'm kind of honestly just spoilt for choice. I like the idea of a little console here. Oh, Loud Britches is out there. <laughs> um, I was trying to find a good, why are you oval? Oh, here we go. This one's nice as well and kind of, kind of matches that. Oh, mint green or pink. I like green. There's no TV, but like, does anybody else quite like watching fires? I do. I like watching a good fire. A face claim is a term used for role play games to describe a person used for that physical description. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, feel free to use my uh, Sims characters however you want. Like, honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. Knock yourselves out, go absolutely wild. I like cushions. So, I'm gonna try and, oh, it's not light enough. Oh, too, too dark, too dark. I'm gonna try use 10 million cushions if I can. These are Harry Potter cushions, but they may be a little bit too dark. I haven't done the lighting in here yet though. We've just got those little sauces at the moment. Oh, the only thing I will say is if you use my characters, please don't use them for shady means that will probably revert to me. Um, I've said the word cancel like a million times today, but yeah, just don't, don't use them for those reasons, please. No weird storylines that would make me do unsick in my mouth. Just like inappropriate or messed up, if you understand what I mean. Just because I don't like that at all. And it, it, don't, I don't like the idea that characters that I pour my love and time and energy for get used that way. Not that anyone has ever done that. Don't worry. But just gonna put it out there. Okay, cushions galore. Good. Look after Clary Mary's characters. <laughs> you can put them through emotional turmoil and I don't mind that because I do that too. Just don't, uh, I would prefer, obviously I can't control what people do, like there's no point in me getting, even thinking of doing that. But yeah, like, use them for stuff that's like, illegal and gross, you know? None of that, thank you. Okay, this room has so little plants that this is actually quite legal, so we should fix this immediately. Like this teapot with a little, can I put you on top of the microwave? No, I can't, Saj. Um, a teapot with a little flower in it. Hello. Oh, you can go on there. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy. This basket with just like a, some weeds in it. Love that. This has got like a little little flowers on it. You can go over here. Can I, have you got a lighter? Yeah, you do. Push to check. That kitchen sink is gorgeous. What is the name of this? Because in my head, I always call it a Belfast sink. It's not. Belfast has got no, I don't know what they're called. They've got a name. They've got a name. I can't remember what they're called. We have one of these. It was one of my musts for when we got the new kitchen. I was like, we have to have one of those cool sinks. I haven't had any pancakes yet. Ali's finished his work though. I can feel him floating around. <gasps> An octopus light, yes. So probably we'll be breaking off for pancake hour soon. Trying to work out what color to go for on this light. I will be putting some more lights around, don't worry. Don't worry, little socks. It's like a bishop! Maddie, yes, bishop. It's called a bishop sink. That was, I was like, I must have this sink. And I like showed a picture, I'm like, I want the sink. But I'm glad I did, because I love my sink. I love it. Even though it, the sink has stopped draining properly. I don't care, I still love the sink. The house was on fire, I would be trying to rip that sink out. I bet you will survive, even if it kills me. 
I like these ridiculously huge lights, like this. That light is actually kind of... It is a bit nonsense. I mean, it's it's literally an octopus. <laughs> it is a whole octopus light. I want to put spots in here. I like spotlights in a kitchen. Let's see if I can do this. I could do it with strings, actually. I could do it like that. And that lights up the kitchen. And when you see it from below, it still looks vibey, so it's not the end of the world. What do you guys reckon? I did this in the very first house I made nice, which was Dream House. Not with these, I did it with like in-game lights. If I could have co coloured them to a different colour, no, I couldn't have done. Oh, we've got the Harry Potter lights. That's, there's two rows of those, though. I love these lights, and I overuse them massively, though. They're just so cute. Uh, why is this fire not on? How do I get my camera to do that? I press shift. But you're going to need a, um, a mod to do it in build by mode. So search for the shift key... Build by mode mod and it will let you do this. Where can we go? Callier pancake challenge. Oh my gosh, you remember the pancake challenge? That is that you are OG if you remember the pancake challenge. Like literally, give yourselves a big a big round of applause because that is definite OG energy right there. Why is this bit so dark? I'm gonna have to put some lumpies over here. We've not got any of these kinds of lumpies yet though, so I don't mind. Can I put like stuff on the fireplace? You are gonna move into my into here for a sec, so I can put stuff at either side. You do loads of you guys remember. That's so cool. Oh, <gasps> what the hell? such a weird lump. A lot of you guys remember it. I love that. <gasps> oh my gosh, this lump's beautiful. This is like the most beautiful lump I've ever seen. Oh, <gasps> don't float. Lamp, why you float so much? Would that, would that just catch fire straight away? Is that just actually a fire hazard lamp? What else can I put here? Maybe a, a sconce? Wall sconce, is that what they're called? Maybe we could do like this. Hmm. Well, that didn't even turn on, did it? Let's look at some Maxis ones too. A plan. Yeah, I will put a plan, but I need some lighting in here. <laughs> There's like no lights. Can I like put it, act like it's part of the fireplace? Act like you know. Do, do, do. This is your way to shine. Remember that on Grand Theft Auto? Oh my gosh, what? The fireplace glows? That is so wild. Wow. No. Do you reckon a glowing fireplace? Is it a bit wild? Why isn't it glowing anyway? It's a fireplace. Like, seriously. I do, I, I'm just gonna do that. I know it's definite cheating, but it makes that area of the room light. Uh, Amelia Grace, thank you for the bits. And Yupa Girl, thank you so much for the win. 
200 bits. Hello everyone, I haven't been able to catch a clear class stream in a while. I just had surgery, surgery yesterday, I'm at home recovering. Can we give you per girl some hugs and love in the chat and good recovery vibes? Hope the recovery goes well. And Maggie Lou, thank you so much for being here for four months. Love you, Claire, keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Okay, there's a sickening lack of plants. I want to put some big boy plants in. Some of the ones, like, you like these, like, long boys. I want some long boys. There's some really good ones with, yeah, Jardine plants. It's wild and big. Maybe too big, actually. What this, what's this one saying? <gasps> You're okay. Can, can I get a different color ending thing? Yeah, I can. Also known as a pot. A pot is an ending thing, if you were um, confused. Okay, it's too big. It's so wide. It's so wide. It's just so, it's just in the middle of nowhere. No one would ever do that to a plant. You love the hair and the outfit, so pog. What well, mine? Ah. Can we get some pink plants in there? Some pink panther plants. Why do the plants want to be in the fireplace? It's just bizarre. I think you can get these pink. Some little lilies. Oh, should I put lilies on here? Gotta make sure they don't have a cut, because Lily's is very dangerous to cuts. Oh, look at you. That's from Paranormal, isn't it? All the plants, I find plants so hard to place because they're so, like, they go out the doors and it's just super annoying. And they got the walls, sorry. Like, look at that plant, that is a banger. That is actually a banger. But like, where do you even put it? Because like, how do you fit it anywhere? I don't know. You need to go outside because you're really cute. Get on, get down. Go on the ground. You are adorable, well done. Fair play. <gasps> Bean, come! Papa, why'd you leave? We were gonna put the camera on me, Papa. You silly baby. Uh... <laughs> why do they always go away when I do that? <laughs> Where did you get the fridge? Um, I searched for, I'm gonna link everything in the video when I've done it. But oh my gosh, this is making me feel so sick, guys. I need to take it away from myself. I can't not eat it. Um, I'm gonna link all the CC when I put up the video of me downloading all the CC. Oh guys, I feel, I feel merciful sick as my <laughs> grandma Bridie would say. Oh Claire, merciful, merciful sick I am. I'm just throwing plants everywhere because like, oh my gosh, you are so much better. Yes, CC every time. Every time. Look at those flowers. They are Savinka. Sav Severinka. Severinka is also God tier CC, by the way. If you ever want to know who, where the God CC, God tier CC is, just ask me. I know all the places. Thanks. I know where they are. There's no bean cam right now because she uh, she's left. She was with us for a really long time. But now, Big Sag, she has gone. Is that a weird thing to have on your table? Just like, oh yes, here is my planter. Or does it look like those cool succulent tables? Well, I can't get it to go in the middle, so it's going nowhere. Oh! <gasps> is this just a, a bed of flowers? Kind of wild. Um... You are just the nicest thing that came with that whole park, aren't you? Why does anything want to be in a fireplace? I don't get it. Just joined. What did I miss? Um, we did some of the outside. So that's looking kind of cute. And we are just vibing this room. Which is to say, we are improving the vibes of the room with plants. Because that is how we do. This is how we do it. We put plants everywhere. Do, 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 do. 
What pack is it from? What that- which one? The really pretty plant? This one? This is paranormal. It's having a float, but it's paranormal, so you know. That is from Living Room, I believe. Yeah, Living Room, which is a CC pack, and I'm pretty sure it becomes available for general download soon. Is that a bit much, or is that kind of cute? I feel like we've got to, we've got to be brave with color. Okay, we're doing a pastel house. I can't keep shying away. That's actually really cute. Cause look, it gets like really pink when you add it to here. It's looking cute. Um, I am gonna actually show you guys some more beautiful stuff from that living room park because it is a whole vibe and I love everything. Oh wait, you're from living room as well. That's not from park. No, it is, it's different. <laughs> I was about to say, you're not from Paranormal. Yeah, the stuff from Living Room is so nice. And I love stuff like, you know, like a throw, like stuff like this. And like some like magazines and like a key dish and all that kind of thing. I just absolutely love. So like the Living Room pack was just, it was just top tier vibes and energy from me, really. I saw people speculating that like, um, Simmers only use these pucks because they like got paid to do it or something. No one paid, like, if they did, I, got, I missed out because one, no one paid me anything, but two, I, like, this is CC made by just people who are like into the game. There's no money exchanging hands from CC creators and YouTubers. I reviewed the puck because I love CC. I'm not gonna use this pack once and never again. I always use CC in my game. So this is like an authentic reaction. I'm, I'm like, I don't, I've used this in every single build I've done since. Um, is that hanging off the edge a bit too much, perhaps? And two, I would never review something that I'd been paid for and not put that in the video description because it's illegal. <laughs> so yeah, these CC items are so nice. So if anyone, if any company like, challenge that i would i would have to pay like a massive legal fee so like why would i do that i don't know so yeah if you're wondering if i only reviewed this pack because i got paid no that is not no one paid me anything for reviewing a pack i reviewed it because i liked it shock horror i know what is the pack called it is called like this like rum like the drink the living rum um, and it's by Felixandra and Hari. And then, and uh, table is too full. I know, but I kind of love just clutter. Let me, maybe I'll put this little burb over here instead. We'll put the burb over there. And maybe I'll put these on there. There we go. This is looking real cute. Liking this a lot. Room living. Am I reading that the wrong way around? No, living room. Yeah. <laughs> I will not use CC in my build. I fully embrace the CC lifestyle, Taz. I, I encourage, I encourage you to do the same. I love CC, but to be fair, it's, it's tough if you want to upload stuff to the gallery. So I do understand it from that point of view because none of my builds are usable by like people that don't have the CC. Um, which is sucky, but I just kind of accepted that and just, I just like I'm looking pretty in my game, you know? That little, little chubs to tack candle at the end is hanging off. There we go, that's better. Okay, wall art time. Why a remote control? It could be for a CD player, which we also don't have. <laughs> Uh, I got some, are you, are you pink? No, we need pastel -y pink and pastel vibes paintings. They're kind of bright. Oh, is that Strangerville? Strangerville's got nice mint aesthetic. Actually, all the Strangerville stuff 
Stranger Tom has really like pastel aesthetic. It's just not very pretty, apart from that one. Add a rocking chair. I've got this little dude here. That is technically a rocking chair. That's from Living Room as well. I, I need to finish this bit over here with like, that's meant to be like um where your shoes and stuff go. Uh, but I've not finished it yet. Oh, beautiful. They're pastels, right? Past blues, greens, and pinks. Pretty! And then what about over here? What about just some bales of milk? Are they bales? Buckets? Wow, way too big. And... <laughs> 3D leaning artwork, okay. Claire, you should do the decades challenge. I do want to do that, but I want to do a. I want to like make one up that's for English decades. Um, obviously, you can't really do decades for an English challenge because decades works for America. It doesn't work for England if you want to include a bunch of our history because English history spans like centuries, not decades. So I will have to like try and make one up in my head a little bit. Is these a little bit too dark? Are they not really pastel? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research because I'd want to do like Victorian, Edwardian, Regency, uh, Tudor, but these are like really long periods of time. They're not a decade. Well, actually the Regency might be, but. Do you have a big download link for my CC? I don't because I can't do that. I legally can't do that. What is the name of the thing I want to pull up? Um... There it is. See, so yeah, I have to like, I have to figure it out. I'm not very good at history either, so I'll have to like, <laughs> I will have to do some very serious research. Oh. We almost got a crash then! Maggie Lou, thank you so much for being here for four months. Hi, I love you, Claire. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Miss Manga. Thank you so much for the one. 180 bits. Megan, thank you so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Megan to the peaches, please? And also Shauna. Thank you so much for being here for two months in a row and three months in total. Love your videos. I hope you have a great stream. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and checking in. I'm glad you like my videos. Um, I really like this. Is this getting a bit too crampy here though? I also want to fill this area with stuff. So can it get too crampy? I don't know. That's another nice thing as well. Oh my gosh, that scared me. A bookcase! A bookcase is a good idea. Yeah, I thought we were getting um, a crash there. I genuinely thought we were in Crashville. Crashville, population one. Unfortunately, it's me. I thought that would be a cute little reading nook. Can you show us the outside of the house, please? I sure can. Here is uh, the outside of the house currently. And here it is in the afternoon. And here it is at night time. I've not finished my outdoor lighting yet. And here it is in the morning. And here it is in the afternoon. I saved, don't worry. Um, bookcase is a good idea. I have to use so many items. I know that when like you build, when the creators build stuff, I might put a bookcase here or here. When the creators, like uh, the Max's dudes and dudettes and whatnot are building for Sims, they can only use a certain number of items per lot. Uh, that would kill me. I, I would die. That would be it for me, I'm afraid. I can't limit myself. I have to use so many items. 
that I would really struggle with that challenge. Like, the 10 items per room challenge. Oh my gosh, I don't think I could do that. Just trying to find a vibey bookcase. Realm of Magic, maybe? Hmm, there's no colourful bookcases. These ones are quite cute. Is it a bit too childish or is it cute? It kind of works with the room, right? I don't know, what do you reckon? Red light change and a posture check, thank you. Right, let's do red lighting. Uh, come on, huzzah. Red, cozy. I need to put more flowers back there. I've not finished yet. Are you gonna use this house? I honestly don't know if I'll even use this house. I'm kind of just right now doing it for fun, if I'm being honest. Can I make you quite bright? They're all so dark, the colors. We need a light over here anyway. This kicks out quite a lot of light, which is handy. This reminds you of Scarlet, really? Oh, because of the dark colors? Or oh, the current build? Pictures from Tiny Living could work. Tiny Living has pictures? Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's got a candle on it. Can you do these movements on console, by the way? Like, you see what I just did then? Is it possible to do that on console or not? Nah? Because that would be like Big Sag if you couldn't do that. What? I've got... Have I got... Honestly, I don't think now it's looking as intense. And I love how cluttered it is. That, I need some more bits here. Oh, oh no. There. Yeah. I don't think it's looking anywhere near as intense as it was before. I think it's starting to look quite cute. You can't do it on- yeah, you can. Okay. Can I get all oh, oh. <laughs> I've not heard that in a while. I didn't even know we were still doing Owa Owa's. Thought, thought we were over Owa Owa, Owa Dog. Owa Owa. Just trying to make like specific little areas if you get me. Simple and cleaner. Oh, that's pretty. Simple and clean art. Oh, I like that. Little three art collection there. Why don't you have a white frame and everyone else does? Get with the program. There you go. Do we get a mini workout? No. We're getting to the really tough ones now. This is a sideways one. This one is really hard. Okay. Are you ready? Whew. Three. Oh, you go to the side. You go to the side. Should I try and do the other count in this time? I find this one sometimes a bit harder. Okay. This is... Sino, so it's based on Chinese, but it's used in Korea. Okay, three, two, one, go. Right. Il, e, sum, sa, o, yuk. And this is where I. I already said the il gob ah hop one, right? Yuk. Come on, seven, seven. Pal ship. Palgu ship, so what's seven? Yuk. Oh my gosh, what's seven in in what what's seven in Sino Korean? Ah Il 
Il i sam sa o yuk chill. Okay, I'll start again for that. Il i sam sa o yuk chill. Pal gu ship shivil shivi. Ship some, ship saw, ship o, ship yuk, ship chill, ship ku, ship pal. Wait, no, ship pal, ship ku, and e ship. Oh my gosh, that was right, right? I told you, I told you, I get to seven and I flip over, and I don't know. No, Ilgob is the other one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that hurt. Doing it twice as well. Yeah, chill. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that swept in and helped me out there. Because my brain was like, I don't know, friend. I, I cannot help you in this situation. I don't know if I like this enough. I just think that color's incredibly blah. Did we do pancakes? Oh, pancakes in a moment, my love. Pancakes in a moment, I promise. Can you oh. say hello to everyone, upside down Evie? <gasps> it's upside down V! Hello! Little baby, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, Lexi almost hit the power button on your PC. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh. A baby! Let's go, girl. Oh, I'm disgusting! Uh, come on, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Out of here. Was Lexi dancing around behind the whole time? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's our house. Chaos and animals. That is how we roll. Oh, we love being a Lexi. Lexi wanted some dad attention too. Lexi um, is incredibly selfish when it comes to attention. She's uh, she's really bad. She's like the most jealous dog you will ever know. And I thought Evie was bad, but somehow Lexi is worse. Lexi's really bad. They're both quite jealous dogs, but like Evie's not jealous with Lexi, but Lexi's jealous with Evie. She's a little bee with an itch, as we say on this channel. She's a little bee with an itch. The room is so bright. Is it too bright? Have I gone a bit mud? <sighs> Look at all the light just being cast outside. It is quite bright, I guess. I could get rid of those. I guess we don't really need them. I just was worried it was a bit dark, but... I think I might replace the giant octopus. It's too bright. I do love him, but he's really bright. Like, he needs to just chill a bit, you know? He's kind of intense. The music's got to that point where I always feel like if we were in a bar now, it would be starting to get vibey. It'll be starting to get like, we're gonna start putting club music on soon. Candles cast a lot of light as well though, that's the thing. I think I just need to step away from this room. <laughs> I think I just need to leave it. I think I've gone like a little bit too far. What do you reckon? I was gonna try and do the hallway as well. Um, That last workout has killed me. Can you hear me panting? How am I this unfit? Like, what? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. It, I, I feel like strength and cardio fitness are totally different. I have got neither, I'm just putting it out there, but they do feel very different. <laughs> um, oh my... Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. 
It's way too low. You'd be literally grazing your head on stuff. But how cute is that? Can I pretend that's attached to a roof? I kind of can't. I kind of can't. Fact, can I drop this one instead? Oh my god. I'll just put it into the roof like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, because that one's going to stick out the top. We don't want that. Oh my gosh. Guys, the vibes. The vibes! The vibes are absolutely immaculate. God tier vibes. God tier vibes. I can't put it in the kitchen though because like it's so bright in here already. There's nowhere for it to go and it's a light. That's the thing. It's a light. So I can't really put it anywhere in that kitchen because that, that kitchen is brighter than the sun. Like if you put any more light in there, someone will come around to the house and ban you from everything. And then you'll just be banned from life. So I can't put anything else in there. Um, I need some doors though in the rest of this house. Probably play it safe with the doors. Um, so we want a door for here. Oh, wait, how am I supposed to get into my bedroom? Because I'm just going to go straight into the fireplace. Unless we access our bedroom through the library, but is that kind of weird? Or do I access my bedroom through the bathroom? Is that even weirder? Are these questions for another stream? Yes, they are. However, I love... I didn't expect that pastely house to go this way. But I do really like how it's gone. I actually think I'm going to change that to this. Because I think that looks cute. Because now that doesn't look pastel anymore. It doesn't look the right colour. What we've done so far, I'm living for. I love this house. I would live here so easily. At first, I thought that, oh, oh no, someone came in and robbed. Um, at first, I was like, no, this is way too much for me. But turns out, it was just the right amount. Turns out, the pastel was there in our hearts all along. Bathroom. Why, what was I calling it? What did I call it? Bathroom. What did I say? Toilet. <laughs> what did I say instead of bathroom? Yeah, the electricity bill in here will kill you. Like, you will get the bill and then you will just immediately die. And that's it. Good night, God bless. I will put another tree on this side because it needs it. But this is looking really cute. What, what, what did I call the bathroom? I call the bathroom the toilet. Yeah, the toilet's kind of stressing me out because I feel like with a toilet... You need, everybody needs to be able to access it, but also the master bedroom needs to be able to access it too. So I don't, I'm going to rework this side of the house, I think the next time we do this. But I'm really loving it so far. I'm really loving it so far. I'm going to break off the pancakes though. So uh, we will be doing a raid in just a moment. Uh, move the bathroom in one. Yeah, we will, there are two fireplaces in the bedroom. Oh yeah, the <laughs> Well, we don't need a fireplace there at all. Okay, that gives us a bit more room to work with then. That does give us a little bit more room to work with. So that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, you called it a bathroom. Also, I just wanted to say a short thank you for... You probably won't see this, but can you please say hi, Shay? I can. Hello. Uh, Heather the Virgo, thank you so much for being here for three months. I hope you've had a good um, three months. So glad you're able to make the stream. Stark Lord Jelly, thank you so much for the win. 200 bits. Um, so question, when do you use the different versions of counting in Korean? Oh my gosh, Stark Lord Jelly, it's the most annoying thing in the whole world. It's so annoying. It's the most difficult, one of the most difficult parts of learning Korean. So for hours, you use, um, you use native, which is like the Hana do se. So that's for hours. For minutes, you switch over to Sino-Korean, which is the Ili-i-sam. For counting people, 
you use one thing. For counting animals, you use another. For counting like pens and stuff, you use another. Like, you, they all switch, they switch. It switches all the time. It just switches and it's so hard. And like the fact that you count differently with hours and minutes is wild, wild to me. And I find it one of the hardest things because I'll be like, Whenever we start my Korean lesson, we do something like called like free talking. It's called like pretty talking, pretty talking. No, pretty talking. Um, and I will be like, oh, this weekend I did this. Like I saw this many TV shows, and I did this, this, and this. And I will always use the wrong number. I will just always use the wrong number. And it's really annoying. And then Simon um, speaks to. He's speaking to like a girl from uh, Busan, loads, and she said. That a lot of the time, um, even native Koreans just don't end up using. Shh, that didn't happen. Um, they don't end up using the Hana Do Se one past 10 because it's too complicated. So they just don't use that and they'll use the Sino one. Even for things that they should use the, um, the native one for, they just don't. So it's hard. It's really, really hard. It's definitely one of the most challenging parts. No, it's not. That's the, that's how hard Korean is. It's not even the most challenging part. So, <laughs> okay, guys, if you are watching on YouTube, I will. Uh, the bean cam is gone, but our beautiful Twitch arenas are going to use this as an opportunity to say goodbye, YouTube. If you're on YouTube and you've watched all the way to the end, go ahead and say goodbye to them in the comments below as well. So, Twitch, please say goodbye. Uh, we're gonna be continuing this. We're actually gonna finish this in another stream either this week or next week I do really really like this house and I do want to finish it I think it's looking really cute so far, but it is a lot more I think it's ended up bigger than I planned which is why it's more difficult than I originally planned <gasps> Thank you guys for being so lovely to YouTube. I love that if you're on YouTube Thank you so so much. I really really enjoyed it and I'll see you guys for part two of this very very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye